I've been telling you guys time and time again, carnivore is the way to go. And now you can try yourself for free. That's right, guys. Get four carnivore samples free. We got chocolate, my personal favorite, fruity cereal, Frankie's favorite, rocket pop, and cinnamon toast cereal. Oh, and don't forget, you'll get a free Milk is for Baby shaker. All you have to do is pay for shipping. You get your four free samples. Try it today and bulk up tomorrow. Let's go. Real show. Here we go. Real show. Here we go. You know that it's got to be that time. So this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance. Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in. You already know what that's about. You know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task. Check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp. Let the ball blast. Kick this thing off, Franklin. No, what's up? We got, you know, we got a a famous celebrity, shore celebrity, UFC fighter. Vet. Vet. Yeah, vet. A uh, Jersey Shore wrestling legend. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Our good friend, the Batman. Yes, sir. The K-Man. The K-Man. Kurt Pellegrino. KP. What's up, baby? In the house. Not much. I'm just going to let you know. I personally don't think these are on. No, <laughs> like my, mine's not on. Are you I'm, sure? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Is this on? We listen. Oh, we run God. a clean show it's over here. Now. Real, no, it's on. We, yeah, we just had to duct tape some shit together. Yeah. Now you're good. No, now now it's on. Good. So hey, all right, let's let's go right the strong Strickland. Right, you see him box the dude Sneeko. Yes. Bro, he, I, that, why did that happen? Uh, well, the, all right. So do you know any background on this guy? I don't know Sneeko at all. I, I first YouTuber, found out about him because yeah. of Mikey Musashi. Okay. Did you see that or no? No, uh, no. The only thing. Wait, I think I might have. See, that's where I found out about this guy Sneeko because I seen Mikey Musashi. I don't know who you know who he is. He's a one FC jujitsu guy that's fucking nasty. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, the yeah. glasses, little, little dude. Yeah, yeah. great. He's kinda, sick. Yeah, yeah. He's Every sick. Day. Fucking shredded. Eats nothing but pizza and pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, my kind of guy. Right? <laughs> yeah, I see um, people like posting. And he's like, kind of he's a little nerdy, I guess yeah. you'd say, but like super nice guy. He's just yeah. fucking really into jujitsu. Um, and I guess Sneeko was making fun of him, right? Oh, like, that was the guy that was making fun of was him. Making fun of him, so he was pissed at that. He was like, "Yo, let's fucking fight! I'll fight!" So whatever. I guess I guess Sneeko must be like a guy that, that talks shit and this and that. He's but a yo, pretty the fact big that dude. He went in and, and boxed Sean Strickland. Yeah, says something, right? Damn, I mean, dude. There wasn't. There was no boxing. Well, on I mean, the other he side. was a boxing bag. Yeah, it was a right. yeah. yeah. I mean, he took a. I couldn't believe he couldn't drop him though. I know. Was he trying? He looked, looked like he was trying. Oh, he definitely looked like he was trying. Dude, he hit him. So, I mean, he wasn't even looking. I mean, I guess he wasn't really laying the thunder on him, but I mean, he, I mean, he was fucking punching that kid in the face. Yeah, what, what do you mean so, wasn't laying? Like, looked to me like he was laying. You think he had more than that? Maybe. Uh, really? Yeah, I, th- I mean, yeah. I would have to. He was right? coming at I mean, him with all. He was kinds hitting of like angles. a bunch, a bunch. Yeah. He was going volume on him. Yeah, and, I think and, he was and, just kind of rabbing people him real from fast. outside the ring. Stepped in to stop mm. it. Correct? They, they yeah. were they threw Forrest. the towel. Yeah. Oh, they was threw that Forrest? Towel. Forrest came. So now. I don't know. I guess there's another influencer that might box or something. You see him, S- Bryce Hall. Is that it? Or something Hall? Can you look that up? And uh, if you just go to Sean Strickland's Twitter, I think. Um, so now he wants, but and he's like saying he want to fight. And Sean's like, I'd love to fight you. And the guy's like, Oh, let's, oh, we'll send you a video. He's like, No, no, no. We're fuck. Come meet me in the fucking woods. You can bring your GoPro. Well, he said <laughs> the- he's like, He's like, I don't care. Gloves, no gloves. I'm taking a piece of you. I'm taking a fucking <laughs> yeah. piece. Of you. Yeah, Bryce Hall. There you go. He said the same thing to Jake Paul. Obviously, for obvious reasons, I can't box you. But yeah. if you want to come out to me, I will fight you. Yeah, but why can't he box him? I, I'm sure it's a UFC contract. Uh, I'm yeah, sure. but but Dude, why? That's, would, that's the thing. How about that, Jake Paul? Listen, I'll give him credit. He's you know taking it seriously. He's boxing, but he does. He boxed seventy pounders, right? He boxed Nate. He boxed Woodley. Yeah. Well, Nate's not even really a 70 pounder. He's really a 55, yeah. right? I would, so I would Woodley, say so. Woodley, he, uh, he boxed Ben Astrid. They're all 70 pounders. Even even uh, Anderson Silva, an older Anderson Silva, he's, he's an 85 pounder, a little bit bigger. But that, go box Strickland, dude. Tell me how that's going to work out for you. That's yeah, what I'd love to yeah. see. I would love to see Jake Paul versus Strickland. Yeah, that would be That'd Jesus be a little, then, then I'm Jake, gonna watch that. Yeah, well, you you nice you think Jake would get walked through? I don't walk through. No, nah, because Strickland's he, he, gonna beat him. But I, don't think I think Strickland's gonna beat him. Yes, yeah, I but too. I think Stri- but but Jake Paul cracks. He's athletic, but I just feel like I he can't st- handle that, that fucking pressure. Would never lose to that dude. I yeah, think. I'm a, I'm a fan of 
of Jake Paul. When everybody hated him, was like, oh, he's going to get killed. I was like, D- he's actually, listen, he has the some of them, he has so much money. And he don't do nothing besides box, make, make more money, train. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, he did it like, right. He but, has the but, best know, trainers, like, right? Like, he's gonna him, beat those guys, though. Yeah. You call him a YouTuber. He ain't a YouTuber. No, he's a boxer. Now. He's a hundred percent a boxer. Right? He's been boxing yeah. for five yeah. years now, right? and he's boxing guys that aren't. I mean, he beat Fury, and I thought he won that fight. Yeah, it was close. Could have won either way. But I, but honestly, I mean, I'm not. You know, that guy's not that good. <laughs> no, but. He still stepped into something that that guy kind of grew up into. Yeah, for and still sure. beat him. He's kind of like a he's kind of like an influencer too, though. Now he is. Oh, even before so, only like big, big he was brother, on Big right? Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there. was he? Yeah. Oh, jeez, yeah. I gotta catch up on my TV. <laughs> you know, I fucking, I like right. I just, I just got done watching Suits. It's, oh, that's how far behind it. I am. I just joke. I just finished it a couple weeks ago, buddy. God damn it. Fucking great. We should have watched it together. Too? Should we watch it together? <laughs> did you watch season nine? I did. You did, yeah. Did you? I did. Yeah. It was a, I loved the ending. What a great ending. Ah. I started yeah. dancing at the end. It was really? my wedding song when they I got married. The really? They just well, they left enjoy. the fucking place. Yeah, so listen. Uh, my man, Harvey, who reminds me so much of myself, like the power <laughs> guy, <laughs> he, uh, his thing was, it was always about him. Like it was his office. He he was the best. Yeah, he gave it up. He, he gave, gave it up. He throughout, throughout the whole show to help them. Yeah, because he was the cause of so many problems. Mm. And then you that know was coming him. out with a uh, spinoff. I, I can't wait. Suits L A. I think. Could well. you imagine? It's, and he's gonna be with Mike. Yeah. Yeah. No, no Rachel though. No Rach. She's out. Mm-hmm. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. He got rid of her. Good for you, Mike. No, well, you know, because of the uh, Prince. Yeah, she's married to Prince Harry, right? I don't. I don't watch it. I don't well, it's Meghan Markle. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a great show. Honestly, it got super popular. That's why they're bringing this this, this yeah. uh, spinoff it, because like, won all the Netflix got really, stuff uh, because of Netflix. Yeah. yeah, when it got to, when it went out on Netflix, it got really popular again. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I never saw. That I never guy ain't, ain't in a lot of Harvey Specter. I love him. I got a buddy. I love him. <laughs> He's a contractor, and he's on the phone. You know, the guy's, like, talking stuff. He's like, yeah, I got Harvey Specter. Oh, you're going to hear from my attorney, Harvey Specter, <laughs> tomorrow. Is that what he tomorrow. says? <laughs> that what he says? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I got to start using that one, too, because that's a good one. That's a good show. I'm super stoked to be back. Yeah, man, good to have you back. Yeah, you, you um... I mean, I'm I'm a little new to it. You have your own podcast, or you've had it for a while. Like, is it new? I got it. I'm on a, a, new, podcast. a new podcast. Yep, okay. the used to bees. Yes, which is caught a pr- couple of little clips of it. You're a funny, yeah. dude. Where I'm a used to be. You know what uh, I mean? I think, I think everybody is used to. <laughs> well, bam, boom, boom. Right. Yeah, that's why yeah. we named it. Fun little bar too over in uh, over in uh, Manilokan. I know what is I used that to call. Logan? Used to be. I yeah. call it. Uh, yeah. I used to call that. Used to be a rock star. Yeah, all right. Because once once you go there. Like you're in it, and then when you leave there, you're getting DWI. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You puke, you get into a fist fight. Yeah, like, you got to drive the gauntlet. I call it the gauntlet. <laughs> the gauntlet. You got to yeah. drive through like Jesus. six towns to get home because the oh. towns are like a mile long. Yeah, it was frightening. And, and, and it's like five miles, like thirty-five an hour. miles an hour. Yeah. And in the and in the winter, you know, you're the only person that's there exactly. on the road. Right. So when you're leaving at like one they in the know morning, where you're like, leaving, they're waiting for yeah, this yeah. guy. You think you got us? Yeah, you're yeah. pulling you over. Where were you? Yeah, yeah. Hanging out with my I mom's was eating dinner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm heard. God, I'm such a good drunk driver too. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't really drink and drive, but I do think I'd be better than the other guy. Well, I, 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 I feel like I have very exceptional reactions t- timing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And listen, and it's in our nature to be better. Yeah. You good hand, I have very good hand eye. You have yeah. Reaction that. time. Um, I think mine slow down so bad. Six cents. Little bit. Wow. I see dead like people. the movie. Do you yeah. s- you yeah. see something coming? Like I see it coming before people. it comes. You know? <laughs> That's what I she did. Said. The other day I was driving. I was like, oh. And I slammed my brake. I knew she was coming to my lane. I knew it. Mother. No f- blinker, no nothing. She came to my lane. I, I had, had, it, what did they call that? Intuition. Uh, intuition. Yeah, you knew it. Like it's, yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Like, I know it. I know yeah. it. You, you ever had driving. a, uh, like a close, not, not drunk, but just driving, normal? You ever had like a close call where, like something horrible could have happened, and 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 it was avoided, but it just made you think. I'll tell I, I, the reason I'm saying this, right? I'm where where I live. You know where I live. I was coming uh, <clears throat> up Garfield. I left 37. Mm-hmm. I made the jug handle, and I was crossing over, and you got Adams Ave right there. Mm-hmm. 
there's a stop sign either either way. Yeah. And I was just cruising along. I was in my big lifted truck. This is many years ago. And a little girl on a bicycle was crossing, pedal and full tilt, crossing Adams Ave. Jesus. Didn't stop for the stop sign. And, bro, I saw her just in the nick of time and swerved. I actually went up on a person's lawn Jesus to miss her. Christ. And my heart was just pounding out of my wow. chest. That would like, never leave Because it was close. She went right across in front of me, bro. I missed her by like Bro, a imagine foot, something right? like that happens to you. If I was on the gas a little harder, which usually I am, oh could have been God. horrible. How right? many beers deep? No. no. Dead, so dead <laughs> sober, <laughs> middle of the day, broad daylight, right? So dead I, sober, I backed 3 up. I wasn't mad. I was just so glad I missed her, right? Oh, I backed up. And uh, he backed I, up over. Yeah. Yeah. He he circled yeah, back. More, he no circled. What, he morbid. circled back. He's, he's like, gosh, she got he's, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get you on this one. <laughs> no, so I back up off this person's lawn, right? Leave ruts in this, and she she went instead of keep going on Adam. She like shot into Wawa, I guess, to like fucking get away. So oh, I she shit me. her pants. I pulled in. She I rolled my pants. passenger window down, and she's crying. Right? She's pedaling her bike, staring straight forward and crying or whatever. I said. You know, honey, you okay? Are you okay? You know, and she's she wouldn't even look at me. She just kept pedaling, so I just left her alone. I didn't want to like, oh I just want to make God. sure she was all right. But yeah, to try run that, her over and then try to adopt her that again. one. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, so what morbid. color was the van? <laughs> so more. What color was the van, guy? <laughs> so more. So more. He tried to run her over and then abduct her. Come on, dude. Yeah, you know when you have those like like you save someone's life basically. Yeah. Like when I was a lifeguard, this at Jenks, there was a, there was some. Some mother came running, screaming, I can't find my kid, I can't find mm -hmm. my kid. And I'm like, shit. And it was on Beach 8, so it's right next to the rock wall. And I was like, oh, man. So, like, not thinking, I run, I grab my torp, I put it, put it around me. I'm like, total Mitch Buchanan. I feel great. <laughs> I jump into the ocean. I, I'm, I mean, I'm going, like, down to the water, coming back up. Like, couldn't figure it out. Took my torp off just so I could get down deeper. Like, I'm not seeing shit. I'm just trying to feel and kick and move. There's a little fucking asshole comes over to me and i'm like oh my god this fucking kid's gone he's like we look at who you looking for this kid on a bodyboard i'm like oh my god i'm looking for jimmy or, 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 you know jimmy yes yeah, his, his mother's looking for him he's like jimmy i'm jimmy i go you're fucking jimmy and i bring him in and like as i'm bringing him in he was out a little too far anywhere on the bodyboard i'm like we've been looking for you do you want to hear everyone screaming for you see me he's like well that's why he was a little kid like uh like 10 maybe yeah. and, I, and i'm bringing him in as i'm bringing him in his mom's crying i'm like if you want you can say thank you you little motherfucker like i was so mad I'm like say thank you he's like ah oh, fuck you and just kind of walks away <laughs> and i'm like i'm like that's right motherfuckers i just saved a kid on a bodyboard <laughs> <laughs> he directed him in <laughs> the whole the whole beach was looking like i was saving like someone dying and i well, like that's crazy. Dang, it was crazy i feel like lot. such an asshole oh, this kid's on a on a bodyboard and i'm <laughs> And I'm just like, you could say thanks. We've told the story several times, but this guy witnessed a girl drown on the beach yeah, right in front of him in Seaside. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's told the story a bunch, but it, yeah, you tell the condensed version of it, Frankie. I mean, literally, right just on him. the beach. Yeah. yeah, it was like it was like uh, a unusually we, warm we knew her September. Too. Yeah. And in September, in September, this was like four years, oh. five years ago, um, six years ago, maybe. And we were on the beach. It was like last week in September, but everybody's on the beach because it's warm as shit. Lifeguards or no? No lifeguards. And I jumped in the water earlier in the day with my, with my cousin. And I'm like, yo, it was bad. Uh, I'm like, I was in for 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm getting out. Was like, it was bad. Rip, cold? Like, like rip, 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 rip time? Rip, rip current. Like Just taking pulling you back, like yeah. Bad. I was like fighting for my life for 10 minutes. I'm like, Dude, Jesus I'm getting Christ. out. And we told the kids, only up to your knees. Don't go in. So then we're about to leave. I'm seeing a bus. Seeing my buddy, a buddy of mine. We're sitting there talking, and then like we're looking at the beach. And everybody's like looking this way. So we turn. We look towards the water, and we see what looks like a guy swimming with the board. I'm like, oh, some guy's tired. He's coming this board. But then you see the board had a person on, on it. You know. So uh -huh. then we all run out. Me and my buddy, two other people, we're getting this girl off the board. And like, dude, she's falling in the water. Like she was lifeless. She was dead, bro. Why? Point. Why was she so tired? Oh, well, cause probably she, but she was on the body, but the surfboard. No, she no she no, the guy, the guy had re like trying to rescue her. Had got yeah, her put her out, on the board. Out of, you know what I mean? Oh, he, was, he, he was like a lifeguard, or not no, a lifeguard, was, but they were together. Oh, was, so so, so oh, someone they oh, might have passed that, out then. Story. They were together. That yeah. was her. Yeah, that was that was the guy that yeah. lost his mind yeah. on the beach. Yeah. See, I thought he okay. Wait, so I think it was two. It was two people in the water. Yeah, one guy. Like certain, like on the side of the board, swimming oh. in with the board, and this girl was on top of the board, unconscious. So then we go to get her off this guy's. This guy's hurting pretty good too. Yeah, I'm sure he's right? exhausted. So then we go to get her, and there's like four of us pick, trying to pick her a lifeless body, essentially. 
and her head was dunking in the water. I'm like, oh, I'm like, go oh, pick her up, pick her up. Then we get her on the shore. Then the shore washes up over her again. It was a shit show, bro. It was so bad. And I don't know. My kids are watching. Yeah, my kids are watching. Tina was fucking six years old, seven years old. I'm picking. I'll be picking her up. Finally, get on the shore. Like, who's a do- who's a doctor? And I'm like, thank God, someone said I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. And then just giving her mouth to mouth. And I was like, yo, let's go. I just knew. I just knew. Oh, she was gone. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and to be honest with you, if I was there and you said I need a doctor, I would have been like, I'm here. I would have said I was a doctor. <laughs> I, it's like a thing. If you say I need a doctor, I'm like, whoa. Really? Yeah, you could be choking. You Someone's don't like, look like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm going to be like, uh, my wife's like, don't do it. I'm like, right here. She's like, damn it, it was a gunshot victim, Kurt. I'm like, I'm in there with like, Things just to make it lighter. Like an emergency at a mall. No, the thing is, I actually, I actually did get a C, take CPR before when I had to coach. I had to do that, Uh, but I haven't done it like fucking ten years. I just they're like, who's who's a doctor? Who knows CPR? And I was like, I was about to be like, all right, I'll go do it. And then someone said, I'm a doctor. I was like, thank God, Jesus Christ. So you guys, you just probably left because with the kids, you don't want them to see that. Yeah, yeah. But then she ended up passing away. Yeah. So we kind of know, like we know a lot of the same people. That's fucking well, that was, crazy. She, she, when I was married, she would come to the house and teach hot yoga. She was a oh yoga instructor. Oh my god! She was at our house. So a did fair she? So time. did she drown? Was she drowned on the way in when the boyfriend's trying to get her in? There's, no, a, there's a, a, again, well, there's conspiracy theories right. about everything. We've heard conspiracy theories about that too. Oh my god! I don't want to say them, but yeah. Well, this guy was. I remember, he was while she while she's getting like trying to get resuscitated. He's like fucking head button the sand. Ah. Uh, Crazy, bro. That's why I was like, "Oh, kids, we're already out of here." Yeah, I, you have to leave. That is, um, oh my god, that, on on those that that story. Um, when I was working at uh, Jenks, do um, you guys remember this couple? So I'm leaving, and I'm we we flipped a coin or whatever. We played this game to see who has to carry the lifeguard stand. You think they're mm. super heavy, but not that bad. So you have to bring it all the way up when you're done. So we did this game, and I ended up losing. As he's like, "See you later." So then I'm le- so I'm the guy doing it, and we blow the whistle, let everyone know that we can't go back in the water. And so long story short, this uh, uh, the, the husband husband came up to me and was like my, my wife my wife's in the water my wife or no the woman said my husband's in the water i can't get him i can't get him i need your help and like scream and panic and it was a pretty busy day but it was kind of dying out i'm like uh and i know we're not allowed in the water after we blow the whistle you're not allowed oh, really? in the water as the lifeguard as the lifeguard really? because, yeah no, 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 i don't want to stop your story but is there is there an insurance policy yeah reason? Is there, because once I, okay. we blow the whistle we're off duty okay. so if i would go in there gotcha. they Maybe could a civilian i'm a civilian gotcha. and they could sue janks if they wanted to so it was like some weird thing gotcha. so i went on the mic and i'm like yo dick that was my boss's name <laughs> i love that i always said i'm like yo dick when i was a kid i was like 19 i didn't care i'm like yo dick and he's like, yeah, go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, it was great. I was like, I got this woman here. She says her husband's in the water. He's like, it's a red flag. You cannot go in that water. Just Tell her you cannot dead. go in. Jesus. And I was like, uh, he's like, if you go in, it's on you. And they can come after you. You cannot go in that water. You can't use a torp. You cannot go in. God can't wear your shorts. Like, Jesus. you can't go in. I'm like, you heard him. And I was 19. I just fucking turned around and just took the cart back like a heartless asshole. <laughs> told my mom and dad, I'm like, yeah, I think I killed someone today. Wow. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I told you them a story. Yeah, you would have heard. Yeah, it would have been a story. Month later or so, they were fucking insurance fraud. Got caught on, the, in, on fucking Martell's boardwalk oh, drinking in oh, wigs oh, and a mustache oh. and got caught. But for his death to get money, like insurance and all that shit, they owed all this money. So it's 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 it was it's like a in stage the, death. It was a fucking stage death. Holy and shit. and they're all like, "Yeah, Kurt, remember you almost died for nothing." Well, cause, cause often, <laughs> like you could look it up. I, I when did I graduate? Nineteen ninety eight. So I guess that would be the best way, right? Because yeah. you don't find the body, it's gotta yeah. be. There's no way yeah. you could prove otherwise. It, it was something for her or one of them to get the money from the other person. Mm. But they were they were still in. They were still at Jenks, and it was like. Like a couple weeks or a month later, it's it was in 1998 that happened on Jenks where they got caught. Like the IRS or something like that happened with them. No something crazy. I forgot. But well, last fall, I think it was, there was a drowning. Um, there was a, a, a boat out in the evening hour. I think it was around 10 o'clock at night. There, worked with my daughter. 
You you know the story? What? Yeah. The the, the a, dad the, and his family and his, his two th- boys. The boat rolled over somehow. I don't know exactly how, how it happened. How did the boat roll over? He, so, was, he was in the surf <laughs> just outside the jetty, just literally just outside the inlet, and you only see the lights of the boat with the camera. There's a 24 hour camera set up there. It's still online. Just, yeah, you can see the video online. You can't actually see the boat, but you can see the lights of the boat, and you clearly see it get rolled. They pull out everybody, the dad and the dad yelling, my son, my son, my son, because all everybody, I think there was three people on the boat. It was a yeah. family. And the 15-year-old son they found up in the river like a week, 10 days later or something. Yeah, they, uh, so, it was a center console, so the boat. So he like hit his head. So he, no, he, <clears throat> he went. So the the jetty is like the, my knees, right? So when he was coming in, he couldn't. The navigation must have broke on his because it's pitch black or the light, mm-hmm. and you could see that there wasn't a light. I believe in the beginning, like a uh, spotlight, and his navigation must have broke, like the perfect storm, right? So they were trying to navigate themselves in with the lights of the, the but they didn't know how wide the jetty was out on each side. So they stop, unfortunately, in the middle of all that. And he goes to turn around because they're not sure where they are. And when he turned around, the road wave came, boom, and flipped them. And you can see the light go right in the water. And Damn. and they were in the cabin. And I think the, the f- father and his one son were able to swim out when it happened. And he got caught inside the cabin. Man. And couldn't get out. I mean, as a dad, I, I just God, my heart breaks for that, the whole thing. I cannot imagine yeah. because no. of course you're gonna burn Bro. yourself. They you know? worked. Uh, they worked at Colonial Ranch in, in Point. My daughter. Oh yeah, like, yeah. The the yeah. Well, he was a waiter there, right? Yeah. Yep. My daughter is like, oh, my dad, and oh, she was all God. telling me she was upset. Incredibly sad story. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, buddy. We're just doing our thing. <laughs> All right, enough morbid shit. We got anything uh, less depressing to talk about? Um, jeez, the Super Bowl. I, I refuse to watch, watch it. it? I refuse. The, I the refuse Swifty Bowl to watch it. The Swifty oh, Bowl. I'm not. I ain't supporting that shit. That's so corny. <laughs> Listen, I I did a new thing this year, which I thought was pretty awesome. I'm a giant Giants fan. Mm-hmm. Like born and raised, love the Giants, the whole nine. But now, since uh, Daniel Jones, I, I don't support him as a quarterback for the team. And, like, you got to get someone new. Like, whatever, just my opinion. Mm-hmm. I also didn't like Eli Manning, so I'm what? fucked up. So you're a Giants yeah. guy? Whoop, whoop. Did you didn't like him, but you ended up liking him? No, because Never I'm like faithful. Because I didn't like that he wasn't a leader on the field. Okay. But I think the quarterback should be a leader, not yeah. a complainer. That's how I, like, he was very lucky, and he did very well. Not everybody could be a Tom Brady. The goat, I love him. I'm a big you? fan. Yeah, I'm a big oh, fan. Peyton, of him. Peyton's great too. Yeah, Peyton's a fucking great. Joe Montana, yeah. Joe but like Montana. I can't root for shit, right? And it's the team you have to watch. So like, I'm just like, listen, I I, I can't support this. They love him. They're gonna keep playing him. There's better people than what, him. Daniel Jones talking about? Yeah, Daniel Jones. So I said I can't root for them until they get a new quarterback. And if he's a shit back, but if he's a leader, I I don't know. I'm an asshole. So I started cheering for um, uh. The Libby Niners. Libby Niners? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Started yeah. drinking Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt good. Like, I felt like, ah, oh, I feel so good. Taking the fam to a Taylor Swift? Yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That dude, yeah. McCaffrey's pretty fucking good, bro. Dude, he's so good. Yeah. He's so fast. He reminds me of, like, a young me. Like a black guy. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> or like a white Kurt, guy. Black Kurt. Black Kurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I tell you what, I'd be so fast. <laughs> That's like, now that I can't, like, remember when you were younger and you could run? Like, you guys can run, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Me? Like, I'm I can't run. Huge. I can't run. Bro, I can't run. My son makes fun of me. He's like, That's what's crazy. up, bitch? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> like, even my little one, Jimmy, he can beat me in a race now. Because your hips. My hips and my knees fake. I literally can't. If you fucking slap me across and don't fucking do that, <laughs> I'd be like, ah. <laughs> because it'd be more embarrassing to see me run after you because i can't i'm like god and if i really yeah. got going i think my leg would fall off yeah <laughs> yeah it's, it's funny it. we'll now do I it after the it. show it's oh i want to see but this. like i'm not making anything up i have to really like, i almost start galloping galloping because i can't like i'm telling you right now there's not a person in this room that couldn't beat me in a race <laughs> Obviously, you have your school. You have a successful school. Yeah, do yeah. Do you roll still? Do you train still? Yeah, you... I, I do. I do try to 
you know, it's the first time I haven't been in pain in so long. Yeah. That's good. So like, I really don't like rolling. Yep. Mm. Because like Matt, well, like, speaking of that, some dude was just DMing me yesterday that goes to your school. He just fought a retired football player, and he's like, "Bro, you got to join Kurt's school with me." And he's like, "We don't have any big guys. I need a big bam, guy." Bam. To train. Yes, yeah. nice guy. I knew it. Told me to come over <laughs> for the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice Should have went. Yeah. Bam, bam! You crazy Doesn't son of a bitch. Doesn't he live bitch. like south, down south? Yeah, he, he lives Portland around here. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You say he fought a retarded fireman? No, <laughs> he's like, no retired. <laughs> Fire fire. Oh. Dear, that was a scary fight, man. Was it? Yeah, you know I don't turn fights down. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you get a fight, you're like, no, I don't want that fight. It's a scary fight. No, I'm like, yeah, I'll fight that fight. You know, and I'm just like, he, we get the fight, and I'm like, there's no one else for him. Mm. You're telling me a retired fucking football player. But he beat him, right? No, oh, he didn't beat him. <laughs> oh, oh, he made it. He sounded like he beat him. Roger, you're, you're a big dude. <laughs> This dude was bigger than you. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. I'm fighting Todd Frazier, according yeah. to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Frazier's been training. He keeps tagging me and all this shit. This yeah. guy, not Todd. Saying, oh, oh fight Frazier, him. Frazier's Celebrity training. Celebrity boxing, bro. Fuck you up. Celebrity, yeah. Celebrity boxing. Oh, Who's I, the I, toughest I, tall guy in Tom's River? <laughs> is it Roger or is it Todd? Bro, it would be really hard. <laughs> I think for Roger me. wins. He's such a nice guy. It would be hard for me to punch oh. him in his face. But I, if think, he I think me, he wins. I would punch him back. So. You think th Roger wins? I think Roger wins. Bro, he's a. He's a. He's a. A fucking world he's a home run derby champion yeah but that's different you know, when how, I, how I, many listen, times this, did he this, fight this might you know sound this might sound arrogant i don't mean to sound arrogant because i love todd but in a street yeah. fight i think i win all day but in a box i don't know i don't, I don't know, know how good todd is i don't know i don't know i just think that nah i listen i i don't know i don't know listen, what i'm talking tom's, about tom's river kid he's a main kid <sighs> facts that does go. That, do, hey, listen, that does. Was, when you guys were wrestling each other, I was wrestling bears. So. You were wrestling yeah. fucking. You you probably could wrestle bears. Could you imagine wrestling you were a wrestling bear? Wrestling with your sexuality. <laughs> my new shirt. What is it? I love my Frankie. Yeah. I love it though. This, this was my this is my shirt. It's my surprise. That's fucking amazing. Oh uh, yeah. Busted, busted that out right in the right in the perfect time. Yeah, it came out. I was just like, you know what I'm gonna do for the oh, show, shit. since I'm the, you know, <laughs> such a big time guest now. You are. I'm just gonna wear my I Love Frankie shirt. Oh, you're <laughs> you're a UFC alum. You're a guy that did big things over there. You're, you know what I mean. You you uh, at one time were were you know making a name for yourself. What do you think of this guy making it Bro. into the Hall of Fame? That's pretty fucking amazing. So right? this is what I thought about. I was like, man. I, I, first of all, I fucking did something so nice on Instagram. Oh. No. For your Frank, and I didn't even get a goddamn retweet. Yeah, Unbelievable. And I'm always like the Go goat. Back. Yeah, that's fucking kind of dirtbag. And listen, honestly, that's the kind of listen people is. say he's taking all the time. Kind of listen, he people is. say he's a he's a you one way motherfucker. To come on here, bro. And to say I, that. I, I was just yeah. I was just aware. You should see the messages I got. That's the second one I've done. Like I made it a point, and I was like, "Hey, Frank, you see my thing?" <laughs> I didn't see He's it. like, "Oh no, I didn't." But next time, I was <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm a real fucking asshole. That's okay, bro. I got hit up like crazy for that, that's, bro. That, I couldn't you imagine. Got, you, got, you know him as well as I do, but that's a tough spot for him. He fucking hates oh, the spotlight, bro. He fucking hates it. Listen, so. someone, someone, will, someone will come up to me and be like, "Oh man, Kurt Pellegrino." I'm like. I get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just to avoid it. Yeah. Just to avoid it. <laughs> and then uh, in Wildwood, I had I had a, a good one. Someone was like, oh, my God, Kurt Pellegrino. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? Mm. And uh, and I always say, oh, Frank's here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't find no way I'm like yeah he's and I just I, I totally take it away from me I'm like yeah Frank you know the goat right over there <laughs> yeah, I'm like don't yeah. even worry about it. like he'll probably retweet your shit but never mind <laughs> he's fucking he's fucking right over there but the guy was like he was like oh man when you fighting again you coming up soon champ and I'm like <laughs> yeah yeah I love that is he fucking looking at the same guy and I'm like ah I usually say no. I'm fucking fat and broken now. And I'm like, no, nah, I think I might be heading lighting like UFC 300. I'm not sure. He's like, bro, he's like, you got to get that belt back. I'm like, yeah, it fucking sucks. I lost that championship belt. <laughs> but I, I think it's going to be a title fight. That's fucking and great. And he believed me. That's great. I'm not kidding. He's like, fuck, man, you were the best champ ever. I'm like, I know. And I'm like, does he think I'm Frankie? You know, like, like is it? I'm not Frankie. Fuck that's, off. That's. Did you see the post I put up? I know I post a lot of shit, but I, I don't think it was on my feed. I think it was just my story, but a repost. Obviously, it was. It was a clip of just a TV, right? Obviously, it's like a, uh, someone watching TV, 
and it's a gymnast, and she's busting out this crazy routine. And at the end, she like falls on her butt or whatever, and it mm. pans to a guy on the couch. He's got a huge belly, eating uh-huh. a bowl of ice cream. Yeah. He's like, "You fucking suck!" And I repost it. <laughs> right, this is every MMA fan ever. Yeah, I saw that. That yeah, was good. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> it is. It really is. Roger, I got a good question for you. Shoot, buddy. Now, and listen to me. I, I, this is what I want to know. Yeah. Me and Frankie fight a yeah. three round fight. How fast do I get? Do I get finished? I don't think I get finished by any <laughs> no, choke. We, so listen, but, we but talked listen, about this. Uh, yeah, but you almost uh, fought at one time. I would have loved to have seen that. Fight. Frankie pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a five round fight. Oh, I think shit. I get finished fast because once it gets past round three, I'm like. I don't know if I can keep. I don't even yeah. see him. They're like, "Is your eyes hurt?" I'm like, "He's just so fast." <laughs> People tell me they act like, "Yo, bro, if you fight Frank." I'm like, "Yo, dude, I think I would go to a decision, which I think I would lose unanimously." Bro, you're such a humble dude. One of you know what I mean? No, I mean it. I though. remember about our, the last time we had you on. It was the second time, I ha- obviously, but you talked about like the Nate Diaz fans fucking giving you shit. Like, bro, he fucking smoked you, and you're like, yeah, yeah he kind of got me. You know, he I'm like, got me. yeah, he <laughs> smoked me for like a second, <laughs> yeah. and I did lose that fight, <laughs> and I'm a nothing nobody, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> you great, know, bro. It, someone it. said something on one of our, our first show that we did. They're like, you weren't even fucking good, Kurt. Like something like that on 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 the thing, or or you're so irrelevant. You're not even relevant. I'm like. Yeah, fuck I'm, out of here. I'm like, you got me. And who are you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, How about that? Yeah. He's like, the fat guy on the couch. <laughs> yeah. That's who he is. I just laugh at that stuff because you see it in like social media posts, like like trolls. Like, first of all, I'm a fan of trolls. I almost wanted to be a troll at one time. Cause like what like what can you do? Imagine if you were trolling someone. Oh, yeah, just like and I'm not talking an athlete I'm talking like some dude holding his kid like you fucking bitch you don't even know how to hold your son right you fucking yeah, oh, pussy yeah, yeah, could you yeah, imagine yeah. he'd be like wait what yeah. like cause that's what they're doing that's, to us yeah for sure like I, you know you're like oh, you like, fucking change an oil like a fucking pussy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you like, drive that truck like you're Roger <laughs> Matthews <laughs> yeah and then like so they see I'm Frankie good, and but, but they don't get it cause like you're like oh Frankie got inducted to the Hall of Fame which is long overdue and that troll's like oh fucking bitch you weren't yeah. even a good fighter yeah oh uh, no. uh, okay so when i see you like hanging out with your grandma your grandma's a whore bro yeah, yeah, yeah. i was with her last night you're like well why would she you send the shit my- out of it <laughs> yeah that's how that's how stupid they are it's but an, like i it's love incredibly it incredibly difficult funny. sometimes not all the time most of the time it's easy not to respond but sometimes you just want to fuck this guy i know has started typing out shit before <laughs> yeah. and been like delete delete mm-hmm. delete 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 but i, I get do. flagged as soon as i as soon as i'm like listen pussy you wouldn't say it to my face they flag me instead of the guy that wrote three paragraphs so about weird. what a piece of shit human i am you know yeah. it's crazy i don't know i was thinking about it would drop something i dropped the brassies mm, so bun rope that's pretty nice. I got a I got a story for you guys. Something just happened. Well, let's for, hear, buddy. I Frankie hear. Frankie knows the story, and I, I won't name any names. But uh, oh my god, something something me. personally that happened. I want you guys to take on it because you guys are fighters, so this should be interesting. So I have I won't say a friend because I use that word. Uh, I, I hold that term endearing, right? Um, hmm. Am I your friend? And, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I yes. would consider you absolutely a friend. I love that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. I would consider this person an, an acquaintance that I've known a long time, that I'm friendly with, right? Yeah. Who knows me? If we saw each other under normal circumstances, it'd be like, yo, what's up, bro? How you been? How's things? Whatever, right? Like, we, like it's been for the last 20 years. Well, this dude, I just learned this maybe, I don't know, six months ago, has in the past DM'd and texted my girlfriend, right? To ask to hang out, send her this video of him dancing. Like I'm a great someone dancer. that you're acquaintance with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wow. But I'm like, I'm like, I, she showed me it, and she said uh, she didn't respond. What it was was her friend put him in a group chat with her, the three of them, and this guy was trying to court my girlfriend, like with quirky dance videos, like being fucking like yeah. weirdo, right? I'd be like, that's the way to Roger's heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was trying. To, yeah, I think he was trying to get to me. <laughs> he loves that. She tells me about it, and she shows me the whole thing, and she doesn't respond, right? There's no response from her end. So I'm like, all right, I guess she didn't do anything wrong. So I'm like, if this guy does this shit again, because maybe he didn't know, because this was a Is while back. Is he doing back. it just her and him now? Well, listen, here, here's how the story goes. I was like, let me know if this motherfucker does it again, right? Because he used to live around here. He doesn't live around here anymore, but occasionally we see each other, right? So um, we're out yesterday uh, having lunch, and she's like, look, she's scrolling through her phone. She's like, look at this. You sent no me. Way. Now it's through a different format, not Instagram, TikTok. 
He's like DMing her on TikTok, and she's like, I didn't even open it. Open it. So I open it, and it's it's like, hey, beautiful, you're so sexy, right? So I grab the phone, and I write back to this. I was like, yo, it's Roger. You got a long history of texting my girlfriend, asking her to hang out. You know I'm with her. I'm on her TikTok with her. I've known you for 20 years. Why don't you stop being a clown? No Give me way. a call. I sent my number and said, let's meet up and talk about this. Crickets, of course, nothing, but. How do you guys feel about that? How would you handle that situation? Bro, first of all, what do you think he went through immediately when, <laughs> when he read that? Like his his heart went into his butthole. I'm not trying to come across as a badass. No, I'm not. Sa- I'm, so I'm not saying he just you know you gave it to him like he yeah. got caught. You know what I mean? And, right, that, right, right. and that's a fucked up thing to get caught like that. So like I couldn't imagine. Mm. I mean, what would I do? What would I do if someone was texting Smurf? <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is gonna be an epic answer. I know it. What would I do? I would. Fuck. I mean, I'd probably set him up and be like, listen yeah. to me. You're going to tell him to meet you here. Mm-hmm. And when that motherfucker shows up, yeah. I'm going to put his jaw That's to good. his ear. That's mm. good. That's good. Because if That's he's fucked up I to did. meet up with you, right. and if, he, if, if you, as my girlfriend or wife, say, hey, listen, I can meet you at this bar if you want to meet, and he says yes, mm. he's the most fucked up person you've ever she had. She probably would have done list. that if mm. I forced her to do it, but she wouldn't want to do that. No, I don't think anyone would do right? that either. Yeah. yeah. Because she's technically and I setting put her in that, that up. Position. It was, I thought it was, you know. But even if he said yes to it, right? Even if he agreed to that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still a scumbag that would have oh, went. Oh, he would hundred percent. And well, like, just fact, kidding. If it's he knows fuck. that he's with, there's no with her, question. At regardless. this point, he does. Did he ever no write way. back to you? Did he ever call no, you? No. She's like, I'm scared. Can I just, can I just block him? I said, No, no. Leave no, that open. leave that open. And he's got my number. Let's see who he hits back first. Me How long ago was that? Yesterday. That was yesterday. Wow. Neither one heard anything. I don't, know. And I don't expect I will, but my my girls like my my wife's so awesome. She would shut that shit down right off the bat, and she she would tell me immediately. Mm. Cause like my phone, my pa- I don't even have a password on my phone, <laughs> and saying what like she like. I mean, it is what it is. But like, if if that did happen, she she would probably be like, "Fuck you, scumbag." Mm. I think, right? Yeah. Would they? At that? Well, let's yeah. say, let's, I mean, not that there's a huge difference, but now you're both, <clears throat> both you guys are retired. What if this happened while you were fighters? Do you have to, do you have to walk a different line to not fuck up your career? You can't be school tooling guys up in the street, right? I live by a code. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? For yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Not, not yeah. like I'm a tough guy or anything, right. but I, I, certain things I, uh, if that happened, you're, handled. if, you're, if yeah. you're not a tough guy, what is a tough, you would be the definition of a tough guy in my book. I don't mean like a tough guy like that. I'm not trying to like say, you know, right. I, I'm, I, I'm not like saying I'm a gangster and this mm, and that. Yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. says, oh, I'm a gangster. I'm not, I'm, I just, there's I certain things I, I would let, wouldn't would let fly. I didn't yeah. make any threats. I didn't say I'm going to fuck you. I just said, bro, you're a fucking coward. You got a you're, history of doing this. Here's my number. No, I, I said clown. Here's my number. Give me a call, clown. We'll get this sorted, I think. But that, to me, that's worse than beating him up because yeah. he didn't even want to like talk to you. Yeah. Like you did exactly what you're supposed to do. I wouldn't chase him down, right. but like I could never run into him mm. no because listen this thing doesn't I'm work gonna well i'm gonna embarrass him when mm. i see him uh. you know what i mean frank like you could do what what roger did which i would do right or i would do that like let's meet up and then i'd if it was one of my close if I, it was one of my friends that i i would, well, that you I'd, would trust not to do that then i'd fuck him up that's different yeah like yeah. i would i wouldn't even that's why i, I would drive to his house yeah, yeah, yeah. I, w- I would don't write back on it i made the distinction yeah. and i'd fuck early him up. though that he's an acquaintance not a yeah, good friend yeah. that would an hit acquaintance. totally different I'm trying totally. to think what an acquaintance is for me a casual in your life a casual that you could never talk to again and it wouldn't matter to you it wouldn't affect you you wouldn't be like oh, i would probably like do that? what you did and then I would wait till I saw him. Like, what's up, you fucking bitch? Right, mm-hmm. right. That's, that's and I would spit on him somehow. It, right? yeah, so he could entice. entice yeah, to... try to hit me. And I'd be right. like, I'll give you one good yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. bitch. <laughs> but then I'm gonna come at you fucking hard. <laughs> 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 Just I'm like, and don't run because yeah. I can't. Catch <laughs> <laughs> don't walk. Don't walk fast. Telephone booth. <laughs> 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 don't walk fast. Listen, I'm an old man now. I definitely am not what I once was. I'm not that I was ever a fucking fighter, but I could yeah, get down in the street. Up. But there's just certain shit I would never fucking lose, bro. I would never lose. I don't care what happened. I'd come back from the dead if I had to to fucking not lose that. You know what I mean? There's no, no way I would lose that. I, I wonder care. if he writes back. Let's set it up. I would love Let's to set fight it up. Let's fight him. Oh, shit. I just oh, got... We're good. No, we're good. We're good. We made it. Oh, I heard that. Though. That was weird. <laughs> you got knocked out for a second when you grabbed your mic. Something, something happened. But um, anyway, I was just curious. I was mm. you, you guys, well, are, you you guys are different than what me would you do? in the, in the if, respect. If that, that happened, 
Like I, I would ha- kind of handle it the Brene, two ways I said. Someone I fucking fun. know. Yeah. But it, no, oh, it's like it's, wait. I'm not. It's not gonna go. You never hung out. You never hung out with him. Are you never doing hung out with him? No, an acquaintance no, is no, someone no, that. You, no, no, no. I've hung out with this guy. Yeah, you know. If it oh, was the situation yeah. he's in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not married, and I'm not saying that it matters, but it does matter a little more. Yeah, you don't have pissed. kids together. Like for me, it would be like I might sure. kill a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah if it, I mean? if I knew so, if I hung out with him and saw him at. At like functions, he shakes my hand every time. Yeah. Like, hey man, how you been? What's I would, going on? Yeah. I would probably try shaking my hand now. See what happens. I would probably, as I went to shake his hand, I'd probably slap him in the face That's and embarrass him in front him. of everyone. Exactly. exactly, kind of what I would do. I'm like what? Yeah. What? I mean, that, oh, know. Frankie, I got a call from our boy Rich Bruno mm-hmm. about a debate. Not a debate, but we were saying, I was asking. You thought I was defending them. I wasn't. I was asking a question. I was saying, like, with the Sean Strickland situation or, like, with the um, situation with uh, Will, um, where he slapped the comedian, fucking... Um, Will Smith? Will Smith. Smith. Okay. I was saying, if that happened in anywhere around here or, like, in a, in, a, in a setting where it wasn't famous people or in a setting where it wasn't, like, two fighters squaring off, Immediately, someone would get arrested, if not both people, or whatever. Of course. And Rich called me. He, he listens religiously, and he's like, listen, I'm a couple episodes behind, but I heard this. And he's like, I just wanted to call and try to give you some insight, because you said if anybody knows. So um, he said there's such a thing as like a mutual combat, combat I told you about this. agreement. I told right? you about this, bro. He said, I just had this case happen. He said two guys had a road rage incident. They mutually agreed verbally you know through the car to pull over in a gas yeah. station and beat the shit out of each other. I show up, the gas station guy is like, look, they just beat the fuck out of each other. You know, Rich is like, did anything get broken? Damn, he's like, no, they were just in the middle of the parking lot, beat the shit out of each other. He said, do you want to press charges? The guy's like, no, I don't want to press charges. He said, well, drive away then. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know how you make, you, there's, a, there's a way you can make it a mutual. Say, you have to verbalize no, it. No, no, you say, let's go right over there and fucking settle this. Oh, okay. If you go to a different location than where well, you that's, are, that's what and they you did. both go there. So then yeah. that can't that person can't sue you nope. if you fuck them up. Yep. He said, you now Rich said, listen, you can get some cops that maybe will use yeah. um what's what's uh, uh disorderly conduct. He said, and maybe I could have loosely charged them with disorderly conduct, but they weren't really disorderly. They didn't break anything. They didn't yeah. ruin anything. They didn't so go we could just they start were... fighting in the street if right now. Agree and, to it, and we're like, agree, yeah. If you agree yeah. to it, and then there's nothing a cop could do. No, it they depends. Stop on, you it depends fight, on the right? cop. No, stop you. Basically, but they can't yeah. arrest but me or Frank. If now. you both say, "Look, I don't want to press charges," yeah. they'll just let you go home. I don't want. To... Some cops, I think, will let you go home. Mm-hmm. Some cops. Wow, that's I think by sweet. law, though, I think mutual combat, like you said, and they say the best way to do is like. Well, let's go right over there and take care of this. Because if you're walking over to some place, yeah, it's like you're both just you're decided both to go to that area. You're not yeah. like you're not luring. I didn't run me up on there. you. I didn't run up on you. He <laughs> didn't drag yeah. me in there. Yeah, it was an wow. incident at my gym last two summers ago, I guess, where a girl that we knew was walking into the gym, and next to my gym is a little convenience store, um, and there was a couple guys over there harassing this girl as she walked in, saying cat calling, whatever. And she walks in. I wasn't there yet. I Wait, is that chaos? Chaos. You know the little store next door, the little. Uh, uh. Cra- Krausers, oh, yeah. Door. Oh, Krausers, yeah. I actually know the dad that owns that. But anyway, long story short, this is there was a couple dudes in there, a couple, you know, scumbags, not locals from out of town or whatever. Cat right, calling, migrants? Cow, no, I just, you said that, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, uh, yeah you, that your vote allowed to come come across the border. But anyway, yeah, yeah, um, thanks a lot, Cat Frank. calling, and my two buddies that were in the gym at the time, I wasn't there, walked out and said, yo, knock it off. Well, she goes to leave to get back in her car. They do it again. She comes back in. She's scared, says to them, so the two guys go back out. My one buddy, James, smokes this one dude. He goes down. He's in a pool of fucking blood or whatever. The guy in the store calls the cops. Cops come flying in. James says, bro, you fell and hit your head. Cop shows up, and he's like saying to James, like, well, what happened? He fell and hit his head. The guy, James is looking at the good dude. The guy's like, I fell. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I wonder why he's, he yeah. agreed with him. I don't know, bro. They must have punched hard. Yeah. 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 That's what you do when you get hit so hard. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. win. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Yep. Fuck that! I, I ran up on someone once. Kid jumped, jumped me, jumped my cousin and a couple and me, and uh, I found out where he worked. He worked at Pathmark. Yeah. And I found out when he got <laughs> off. Oh and shit! I was waiting for him in the cars. I was literally ski masked him, ducked down, and he was walking out. And I was gonna run up on him. I was like, I dude, I was probably like ten feet away from him. I was gonna clean this motherfucker. Bro. Oh my god! My buddy's like. He said a derogatory motherfucker, something derogatory yeah. word. The dude looked boop, and took off and fucking ran into the store. I'm like, motherfucker, you better fucking keep your running shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I, I was listen. I was in Point Pleasant. Yeah, yeah. The scariest thing that happened to us yeah, is like, a, say, like were... a snowstorm. <laughs> you know, like like we went surfing. It's not fights. Yeah. I so I didn't. You grew up didn't grow up fighting. So I was so I didn't. I wasn't in Tom's River, right? <laughs> Or Brick Town. I was in Point Pleasant. No fights in Point. I got into oh, like I fought one kid. They fight over like surfing areas up there. Yeah, like one, one kid thought he was tough. I beat him up. I came home and I had some scratches. My dad's like, "You get into a fight," and I was like, in going to eighth grade or something. I'm like, "Nah." Then he found out because the parents called. Then he kind of tuned me up for lying to him. <laughs> but the only fight I ever got in high school was um, there was this uh, a kid's awesome. Kid was cool. His name was Johnny. You're Mac- a cool guy. Mexican kid. Oh, wow. He was in my. Was it, was, he, it, was, it, was it racially? <laughs> no. Was it racially charged? I didn't even know <laughs> racially charged was a thing. Yeah. Back then it wasn't. <laughs> no. no. Now well, it is. Now everything. But like is. we were, he was in like all my slow classes, you know, and he could couldn't really speak English, and I loved him. He was like, but like something triggered in him like crazy. He like pushed me into the hallway, into like the lockers when we were leaving, and he was like nineteen. I was, I was a freshman, so I had to be like fifteen, turning sixteen. And he was like, uh, I was like, yo, stop, dude. And he like kept doing it. And he didn't understand English. I'm like, yo. Alto. I'm, Alto. I'm like, Mike Tyson. Me, Mike Tyson is what I said to him. And he's like, I'll fight you. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dad, I don't want to fight you. Fucking shit. Because I didn't like fighting. And he just he just kept pushing it and coming after me. I'm like, yo, stop. I'm like getting concerned because my brother's like your size, a big motherfucker. And like, he's going to kill you. Like I'm a little guy. He lo- he hates me, but he loves me too. Yeah, 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 like you right, know, he's gonna right. fucking stab you. So I'm like, please stop. And he's like, after school, I'm like, oh man. So I I go after sc- I go out in fr- and, I, and I was smart, right? I was dumb as shit. But I went into the front of the school. So I'm like, this is gonna be broken up so fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he and then the whole school's out in the fucking whole place. That's the way it used to be. And I'm like this. Oh man, here it comes. <clears throat> and he he came at me. I punched him. And then, like, he was down, I kicked him, and my shoe fell off. <laughs> I was going, time out, and I'm hopping on one foot. I need my shoe, time out. And then he started, like, bop, 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 and, like, attacking me. And then I, like, I picked him up and, like, double-legged him and, like, pile drive his head into the, like, it was bad. He was, like, fucking frozen <laughs> solid. And I just come up. I'm like, what, bitch? And then some girl kicked me in the stomach, like, really, really hard. And then I saw her flying through the air. And I'm like... What took Your you so brother. long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm like, what took you? And then I'm you like, you guys I'm... would be on the cover of Time Magazine now, and it would say hate crime underneath if that happened today. I was the one being picked on, yeah. which was fucked up. Like I was Doesn't being matter. picked on. Doesn't matter. And I it's and I tried matter. getting out of it. Like I, I I like I said like even on the air like I hated fighting in the UFC. Mm. I, I I liked the like I wanted to do the Olympics. I, and then when I failed college and had nowhere to go, I, I didn't realize that, like, my dad's like, you could go to, like, Colorado Springs, but, like, I don't have a job. And that's where, like, all the Olympic training yeah. center was. Mm-hmm. Not saying I was ever going to make the team, but I was going to try Greco-Roman because I was pretty good at upper body. Mm-hmm. So that, that's what I was going to give a shot. And then I'm like, I, you know, fuck it. I'm, not, I'm just done. I'm retired. I'm not doing no more wrestling. I don't want to do shit. So then that's how I got into the fighting with the short thing, helping Vinny. Yeah. And I just was like, I don't, I don't really like fighting, but I do love training at the highest level, sweating, losing weight. I, I couldn't get, I, I need those nerves still. Like how, many, I, how many guys do you think, though, two professional fighters here, do you think actually love fighting? Love actual fighting? Not, I'm not talking about the training, which I know Frankie's in love with. Yeah. I'm talking about actual fighting. How many, I think Sean Strickland might, but I liked fighting though. I, did. Yeah. I mean, like no, but did I, you I, like I, fighting? I didn't like fighting to the point where like I wanted to fight six times a year or something. You know what I mean? Because it's fucking like to me. To me, like the reason like when I fought, I didn't think like I never I never did an after party. I was never one to do an after party. My idea was like. I shouldn't be able to party yeah. after this motherfucker right, fight. Right, right, right. Because I was ready to fucking leave it out there. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, I wasn't, like, in it for that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I definitely like the competition. I, I, def- I mean, it fucking feels good hitting someone, man. No, like, it yeah. See, good. that, to me, like, I didn't like, like, like how you're, like, I, I want to, like, punch someone. I guess when I was doing it, I felt like that. Mm. But, like, I really, I didn't want to have to fuck it. Like, if I could have made my money... In the grappling, I would have never have fought. Mm. And I was 
not like these guys are, but I was those guys. Mm. Like I was ranked number one in the, in the country in jujitsu. You know, I was in Abu Dhabi in ADCC. I, mean, there, 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 I did that stuff. Guys. Gordon, I just didn't Gordon make the money. Ryan makes well, it's no, disgusting. It's, all, it's money. new. It's and new. It's really like, new. I was money, like the yeah. pioneer for all that shit, yeah. just like the guys before us were. You know what I mean? Like they helped us get there. By the way, you know, did you see he just got his pickup truck stolen out of his driveway? Yeah, but Who he got did? it back. He got it back. Who yeah. did? He said, I got to thank Gordon. I know a lot of did people. Did he really? TRX, beautiful fucking TRX. He got stolen right out of his driveway. He got it back like a few days like later. 24 hours later, maybe 48. Yeah. yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Like, I know people in the FBI, the CIA, yeah. and this and that. He's a Fuck. polarizing dude. I, I I get down with him, but King Gord, po- bro, he's crazy and he's so talented. So yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of him too. What do you guys weigh in on? I don't know how we got on this because I know nothing about it, but I do know that probably the closest guy in recent history to finishing him is his old teammate Nicky Rod. Right? What do you think happens if they go head to head again? Because Nicky Rod, he is- just lost to uh, Hugo, didn't he? Oh, did he? I think he did. did yeah, he? and he, and I watched the match. Uh, he. I think it was a, a unanimous decision across the board. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just think, you know, Gordon is, Nicky's a better athlete. That's what I hear. Probably a better Stronger, wrestler. right. Yeah. But that's where it stops. Gordon, like Gordon is, is just. Yeah. Technique is His technique flawless. is. Tec- yeah. Dude, what he did at ADCC is, is, is crazy. King, bro. Mm. Technique trumps everything. You fa- but he's also. Can you say that since you such a Biden supporter? Mm-hmm. You said Trump's. Yeah, yeah, All right. Uh, ah, but uh, tech, like, love yeah, that. like Gordon also, he's like a str- his tr- strategy. Yeah, is part of his technique. Like yeah. his strategy, he knows is what he's doing. His mental he, warfare. His, is like great. I said, he you know, he has an a, he has an answer for everything. Yeah, yeah, he's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Like watching him, people are like, yo, can you watch him and like know what he's doing next? I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah, because like what like like I love jujitsu and I and I loved it a lot and all that stuff, but. You know, you watch someone wrestle, and you're like, "I know what he's going to do next." Yeah. Or fighting, like this yeah. is where he should go. I don't even know where you should go next. He's like so far ahead yeah, of those steps, I mean, he really is. and he's so and his where and where is he going? Right. Like he's not. He going. He should never leave what like, he's doing. He should never try to cross yeah, over. Yeah, I, MMA. I, I no. would be disappointed, no. No. and um, no. I'd be disappointed. Mm. Yeah, I heard that he's trying to fight. He's no. training. He's been training with, with Ryan a little bit. Oh. Carl, I'm hitting pads. I don't know. I don't. I don't think he'll fight. I don't think he should. I mean. We'll see. 2024 is his year. This is his last year. I'm sure. I would imagine this is his last year. It should be. He's got to beat Dake this year. Right? Because there's no weight class for him otherwise. There should really add another weight class. Know, it's 79. It's crazy. Um, if he doesn't make it, I can see him maybe fighting. At least once. Yeah, but he can't fight. Like, you can't give CM Punk a fight in the UFC. And not give Jordan Burroughs a fight in the UFC. Oh, I agree. If you give CM Punk yeah, yeah, yeah. a fight in the UFC who is a punk and would should never, ever grace the same fucking sport that I've done, uh, in the UFC? But it's about money. It's about money. Yeah. CM Punk brought a huge name. I'm saying, but Jordan <clears throat> Burroughs, he could. Dude, he Jordan could. Burroughs is the... He's, you know, we, he has more credentials than Schultz, yeah. right? Speaking of he that, has, Frankie and I were just talking about that a little bit. Um, you just brought up... Uh, what's his name? Uh, CM Punk. CM Punk's first fight in the U.S. And I just saw this on YouTube. It popped up on my FYP page or whatever. I called Frankie, but I was like, do you know about Pat Militich fighting this fucking no-name dude that used to yeah, be one of his Michael students? Michael Jackson, remember? I don't the guy, Michael Jackson, J- Jake Paul fucking ran up on him at the P.I. He's like a super, he calls everybody racist. You're a white he nationalist. Got, he, got, Nazi. he got into the UFC <laughs> with a 0-1 record. And he, he was, <laughs> because they gave it, they, they signed Punk's. him to fight CM oh, Punk. Oh, CM Punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they fought, they, they signed him to fight CM yeah, Punk. Yeah, but that's not, like, that's not the UFC. I know. Yeah, you know, like, I, my first fight, your fight was uh, Tyson <laughs> Griffin. Yeah. Mine was uh, Drew Fickett. Those yeah, are you fights fought, in Your the, first fight was Drew Fickett? God Holy damn it. Shit, yeah, bro. it was Holy out of control. Shit. He's an animal. Oh, fucking, he was one that taught me how to do elbows. You know what I mean? Yeah. Came into the gym and helped me out, but like those are fights or Lozon fighting Jens Polver. Yeah, Polver. Yeah. Come yeah. on, bro! Yeah. Like to me, like this is a sport that I do love. You know, I I like fighting. I just, you know, when I I used to say the prayer, like you know, God, please help me win this fight. Let me, you know, not get hurt. Let me not hurt hurt my opponent. But if I do hurt him, too bad. You know, he shouldn't have fought. That was like kind of my thing. I would say all the time before I would fight. And just let me just get out of there in, in one piece. Um, but, like, for them, like, wh- what are you even saying? Like, this is a gimmick fight mm. to make money for the UFC, and, you know, I don't well, deserve to be I, here. I think, no. I mean, this is how I feel with CM Punk. 
he he wanted to try it, right? And he did something in his life to be relevant enough that people give a fuck about. It. But so, but Jordan right? Burroughs is more. Oh no, no, yeah, he, yeah. I think he, I think he was oh, deserving much over more. the the two. Much more, yeah, yeah, much more for sure. Like Brock Lesnar. He was a WWE guy, but yeah. he was fucking an amateur he, wrestler, one of the was, best amateur wrestlers. You know, but he was actually he was good. That's what I'm saying. As an MMA fighter, no. well, yeah, because he's he good. was also an amateur wrestler. Right, right, right. That's yeah. why, like, what was CM Punk? He was nothing. He was, you know, but hey, and, I mean, he then he dived fought in, like Mickey Gall. I don't want to hate on the dude that bad because he has balls this big. Because Bro. he did what 99 percent of fucking men would never do. Sure, try. Remember that you know walkout I mean? though? Yeah. Remember he's like, yep. Like I'm like, bro, come on, dude. Yeah. Like this ain't the, you. You ain't you're you're you know who the fuck are you? Right. This is your first fucking MA fight, bro. Yeah. You better buckle the fuck up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was to me like I'm not into that. Like someone that shouldn't like have no business, and and I don't have anything bad against him. Like I could never I like do him. what he's, he's nice doing. Guy. But, but his star power, right? Who he was in his star power. Mickey Gall beating him shot Mickey Gall up, who a guy deserving guy who does yeah. deserve it. Yeah. Shot his stardom level up, you know? Well that's I'm sure that's what the UFC we'll use him a couple of times. We'll get some pay reviews. We'll build some people off him. That's yeah, I mean that that, that could be smart. Oh, you, too. Th- you think it was that theory? No, well, you, no. You I think, don't they're, think they're like, like this guy's going to train hard and actually be good. No, they were like, all right, we'll see. We're going to get some of his fan base that are going to come watch him. And they could never we're think... have him fight a fucking young guy and if the guy young guy beats him, then yeah. they're going to help right. build his fan base, right? right? I didn't even understand who they thought he could ever beat. Mm. On that whole UFC roster, when he was on it, the no. lowest of the lowest would no. still have beat him. Yeah, because the guy had no well, fighting. That's when they brought or, a guy in that was zero and one. That's how he. <laughs> and that he was, still didn't beat him. Yep. And he didn't beat him. No, right? He didn't beat Michael Jackson, did he? No. Uh, Michael Jackson beat him. I, think. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fucking name's Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend! Hey. Yeah, Mickey Gall was his second fight, right? Yes. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Jeez, uh, I wish if I could fight again, if I, I would, I would fight yeah, him. I want to hear this. You know what they if someone could, said to me, and I gave fight, a good answer. They were like, Sorry. "Who would you want to fight?" You know, if there's anybody you didn't fight, who? And I'm always like, you know, like I never was one to call people out ever. Like I think was I want the title. Whoever had the title, that's who I'm calling out. Sure. So I said, that's why whoever the ti- I would love to fight the champions of the yesteryears, the champions of my time, and the champions of future. That that's who I'd want to fight. Hmm. Like yeah, I mean, mine was Sean. Shirk as Shirk, well. Yeah, I, when he fought um, Hermes, I said to him in the in the cage because I used to beat Hermes' ass. Yeah, and I would be like, um, when when he beat Hermes, I was like, "Hey man, you're next." And he was like, "I'll see you soon, Kurt." I'm like, "Wow, that was pretty cool." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I went to dinner with him before. I Did you? Him. He was awesome. I mean, he went out partying. Uh, yeah, after wait, he Hermes? was like, for, oh, Hermes, Shirk, Shirk, Shirk." No, no, Shirk. It, no yeah. one's going out with Hermes. <laughs> That's your twelve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> unless, you, unless you're like a teenager, it's fucking sad. In oh. elementary school. Oh man, yeah. But I went to the dinner with Shark. He's a little. He's a little uh, square. Yeah, he's square. He's Not nice square. guy, bro. We had the greatest First night ever. Really? really? We were we were in Montreal and uh, oh, Montreal's great. <laughs> it was crazy, and I think it's when when uh, when uh, uh, Hua won the belt. Mark, oh, Shogun? Shogun. When he beat uh, Machida. Yes. Yeah. That was the one. been there. So I was there, and we went out the night before. (laughs) (laughs) And we went out the night before, and and man, he's like, oh, Pellegrino, let's go, let's go. So we're just like hanging out. He's like, oh, come on. We're going to go to the tap out party. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's the last place I want to be, but all right, break my fucking arm. And then we went out, and we were good. And then we were leaving. And this guy goes out of nowhere. Oh my God, Rock Kurt Pogger, And uh, I was very relevant back then. So we were just hanging out at the bar, and the guy's like, let me get you a shot. And and Sean's like, I'm not going to do a shot unless you get my man a shot. And I was like, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gives me the shot. And after we took him, he the guy goes, you'll never remember yourself tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, just. What the my, fuck did he have he shooting? Yeah, eat my ass. <laughs> and then I woke up at the breakfast table and I was like, What are you putting? Oh, you got roofie? Roofie you? Sore butthole <laughs> the next morning? I don't know. My mouth. But I can... <laughs> he, had, he was fucking with the muscle shark. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> and then I went over to Sean and we, you know, we went out. Like, we went out. We didn't go home. Like, we went out fucking partying. 
So I, I was working the Echo booth and I walked over Echo, to him. Echo, bro. Remember Holy Echo? Shit. And uh, I walked over and I think I was with like Kodo, Miguel Kodo. He's like, man, how was your night? And I was like, Phew. And then I kind of like remembered I was with Sean. I walked over to him like, yo, man, what did we do last night? He's like, yo, what's up? And I'm like, what did we do it's last like the night? Movie, the Hangover. And he had no recollection we were ever together. What? Oh my god! And I, I'm not gonna say the shit, but ha- that I that because I'm getting clips yeah. through the years of what I, what fucking went on. <laughs> it is like the Hangover, whether it's scrolling through the phone. Dude, yeah. I was fucking 100% roofied, and I, I and I didn't remember nothing like for months. Oh and then I'm like, god. oh shit, something comes through. It started coming too, and I know the whole story now. Oh shit! Can I you can, tell it? I could you never tell it. Tell it. It's <laughs> fucked Frankie, up. You gotta have some good stories. Is there one you can tell? Obviously, there's probably a bunch you can't tell. About partying with UFC dudes, just being overseas. You've been a million places. Oh my god! Got any good so stories much. that are arable? That's not gonna get you divorced. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember. Doing, no, I wouldn't uh, have got going divorced. To Fort Hood. I was with uh, Matt, Sarah, and Jim Miller, and Marky Lee was with, with us, yeah, yeah. and uh, we Brian Stan was there. All right. We did like the whole Fort Hood tour, you know, fucking. And I remember my ankles fucked up, so I couldn't really do a bunch of shit. And um, they did a drill where they put put uh, Matt, Sarah, and Jim Miller in fucking like uh, you know in like fatigues yeah. and all like the shit, the, the ride gear, yeah, ride yeah. gear. And they had to go in the house. They went to the house, and then everybody had to go grab like the fucking go. Damn, so fucking Jim Miller's fucking boom, tossing people, tossing people, bro. <laughs> then they go for Matt, Sarah, bro. Ten dudes. Could not get Matt Sarah on the get fucking ground, bro. Really? They could not get him He's on the ground. He's a fucking monster. A fucking tank. He's a fucking tank. No, nah, they dude. could not get him on the ground. I love That's Matt. Amazing. He was. Oh, dude, yeah, he's fucking <laughs> tough. Um, I was at a so Andre Orlovsky, right? He, I was in Brazil, um, and he fought. I think he fought Bigfoot. Um, remember Bigfoot? Bigfoot yeah, yeah. yeah, they were like friends, right? The bow. Yeah. Um. Uh, Right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're drinking on the that's top. That's the one where they both knocked each other out, literally, and Arlovsky ended up winning that. Is that the fight? I think no, so. I think Arlovsky knocked him out clean. Oh, I, okay. I think. Right. Um, but uh, we we were drinking pretty good, all of us, and having like it was all the UFC fires, which I thought I never did that before. It was just everyone in the hotel, but there was no. Um, fans. It was mm. the whole roster, oh, wow. and all the UFC staff. Yeah. It was pretty neat. Yeah, it's cool. And I'm out there. I'm, I'm hanging out with Joe Silva and the fucking man. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, Andre Olasky, gets on the top of the fucking building on the sh- on the shelf on the edge, and jumps go- like this and goes by and That's jumps cool. down. Oh, there's nothing down there besides fucking pavement. We're on the top floor. And dude, people are screaming. Ah! Bro, we fucking run over. There was a planter's box. You know, every other window down. The motherfucker just took a guess. Took a guess? Yeah, like you didn't know if he, I mean he knew it was there. I'm guessing he looked as oh here it is and played a joke. But when he turned around, like he didn't look backwards and look down. He just stepped off and went straight down. Oh, but that's like a, the the crazy rush. We had to they, carry they, him they over the fun. They, like, rush. they yeah. walk across I mean, like fucking skyscrapers like it's not the crane wow. to walk out on the end of them. I thought I'm like, oh my god, he just committed suicide. It was fucking insane. It was insane. And then we pulled him over it. Because <laughs> he couldn't get over it. He was down. We had to put our arms down and fucking bring him over the wall. <laughs> And I was just sitting there like I shit my pants a little. I'm like, I think I just got fucking just jumped off the fucking <laughs> top of this hotel, man. <laughs> fucking crazy. Can't do it no more. <laughs> He's still yeah. fighting that guy. Yeah, he holds a record. Remember, I pulled up a bunch of records. Andre Olavsky holds holds a record. And, and for it's something. the UFC it's... too, right? He's still mm-hmm. fighting in. Mm-hmm. Yep. He lost his last fight, but yeah. Wow. Yeah. Remember when he was in his like? Bro, remember, remember when he had the hairy shoulders and the fang fucking teeth? dude. Bro, he was I, he was so scary, scary to look at. Scary and, back then. And he fought like Tim Sylvia, yeah. and I, we were on those cards. Frank but they, Mir, right? yep. yeah. they were so big. Yep. And I'm like, man, I'm either a midget. This guy is a. I fucking... grew up with Tim Sylvia. Really, yeah. Jesus. The maniac, yeah. The maniac. Yeah. God, those were fun. He just had knee surgery. Yeah, he did. Right, yep. replacement. Yep. yep. Feels so it good feels now. Feels good. Yep. It does. He, he recovered quick from that. Yep. You can't run though with your knee though. No, I look like a. Can people run with their knee or no? I think they probably could. It's just, 
I don't know. I mean, I got to look at that. I mean, I got a full knee replacement. Mm. I just don't. I mean, I, I, if I'm out walking and I can like slowly move myself and I could run, but there's going to be a, probably like a slight little limp that I'm doing. Mm. I'm saying if we were playing and I want to run after you real fast. I'm like complete garbage. I'm gonna yeah. fall on my face. Really? Damn. Yeah. If you lived a, a normal life, I don't know what you would have done. Let's say you. Let's say you were. Uh, I'll use Frankie's previous career. Let's say you were a plumber. Do you think you would have these same issues? Do you think they're hereditary? Do you think they're, or is it all attributed to this crazy fucking? I don't know. Life I, I just think like my body fell apart during wrestling. I think until mm. so wrestling. Yeah. Maybe it was just from wrestling, and then Frankie, would you say the same? Because obviously you've had a bunch of injuries and. You've had a hip replacement. You think if you lived it, if you went to the plumbing field, do you think you'd, you'd have yeah. this shit I'm going a on? Fucking goer, bro. Yeah, I'm a goer. My dad's a fucking mess. He didn't wrestle. I mean, he wrestled in high school. Yeah, you know, so he's my, fucking knee can't walk for shit. Yeah, my dad I mean? just got a full knee replacement. Yeah, mm. he just and a like pro honestly, I, I, I was doing physical therapy last 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 December. I started last January for my neck. It was bugging me. I was losing strength in my hand and stuff. And I'm in there talking with all you know. It's older people. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's fucked up. Yeah, and like they didn't fight, they didn't wrestle. They're it, just fucked up. This guy's like, I'm a barber. I can't fucking bend over. Like what? Yeah. I'm a dentist. I'm fucking. So my back's all fucked up from yep. bending over. That's what like I'm it's crazy, you know. Yeah. So just, hey, let, let, find what you love and let it kill you. That's how I. Feel. So my main thing is like, it, people always ask me like, would you like? I need two hips. My left hip is so gone. Uh, my uh, full sh- uh, knee, full shoulder replacement. I got my hands are arthritis. Uh, they're, they're, they're so bad. And people are like, would you have done it? Would you have not have done so hard, or or would you have gone harder? You're I get said, the Ronnie Coleman. I would have went so fucking yeah, hard. Yeah, I would have yeah, died because, like, I don't want to die sleeping in my bed. I, respect I don't want to die in a car accident. All this. I would l- love nothing more die to be, die. Enough. I want to die. <laughs> I want to die in the wrestling room. To me, that's the only place. Like when people like I call that the Ronnie Coleman answer for obvious reasons. He, yeah. he you know, because he's. I mean, you, he, bro, you want to talk about an athlete that isn't like yeah, dude shape? Yeah, and I mean, that was the king of the world at one time. He can. I mean, he's pretty much wheelchair bound at this point. Yeah, he really but he says himself into fucking weight zero. Back. Weight, weight. He still yeah, lifts he still lifts. He still works out every fucking day. Basically, yeah. arms. That's what he can do. But. That's so all. Zero regrets. If he could do it yeah. over again, he'd go. He'd get four reps mm. of eight hundred pounds. Yeah, squatting. Would, then if so. I die on the mat, I, I tell that. everyone in the gym. I, I go. That. If I'm done, and you think they could, you know, bring me back, fucking don't, mm. because I'm so stoked that I died on the mat. Yeah. To me, that's the best place to go. I want to be cremated and sprinkled in a wrestling mat. There's the whole smell of the wrestling room. Like I, wa- I can't get somebody stab. Bro, I, <laughs> 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 I can't change my mats in my gym. I can't do it yeah. because when I go in there when no one's there, like I hear the hard work that I used to do when yeah. I was in there. Yeah. There's th- my blood and sweat are still on some of those mats from when I was training. Mm-hmm. And like to me, like that, that that's the only place where like you get an argument with your wife or your girlfriend or your kids are pissing you off. To me, I can go there and nothing makes me mad. Right. It's like my, yeah. it's like my therapy. Sanctuary. And I can't do it. So like I'm trying to find something new for me, mm-hmm. and like I'm like I could roll jujitsu, but like it has to be with the gi on, so I can have some grips. Yeah. Um, and if I lose positions, I know where I know how to work around my injuries, and like I never had to do that. Mm. And now I'm legitimately like if we roll jujitsu, I'm gonna do well. But I I but if you go to the to the to the positions where I can't do, I'm like. Mm. Mm. You know, so like I just kind of roll. I'm like helping now. I'm like yeah, the helper. Yeah, right, I yeah. go. I roll with the girls. I roll with like some um, the blue belts, not the white belts, because some of them are crazy. Yeah. I roll with the guys that know how to roll. Is that how it is? The white belts go gangbusters because they're trying to like. Because this is kind of you know I talk. I'm about to open a school myself. You know, oh, yeah. and roll with everybody. And <laughs> yeah. I, I talk to Carter. I'm like, bro, Carter's two hundred fucking twenty pounds. I'm a little dude. Like, I'm gonna Dude, get a big guy. They're gonna come from my they're coming. life. That's the one thing. Yeah. Like you have to tell them. So I. This is how I always was. When someone's coming after me really hard, I'm like, cool. Submit me. I don't. I don't even try. Let them pass my heart. Submit me again. I'm like, wow. And then they realize by the third one because it took them 30 seconds to tap me three times. Mm-hmm. Then they know that I'm letting them do it. Yeah. They're like, come on, you know, go hard. I go, listen, bro. This isn't the UFC. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? We're just working out. If you want that smoke for real, 
Like, I'm going to fuck you up and then I'm going to lose a student. Yeah. Right. And I don't want to lose a student. Right, right. You know, I had one of my students who was one of my fighters. He's a great kid. He's like, Kurt, and this is when I was at the, especially the top of my, my grappling career. He was like, I want, I want to feel what it's really like to go with you. I'm like, give me 10. And I'm like, okay. And then I submitted him, like, I think five times in five minutes. And he was like, and I hope if he sees us, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say your name. <laughs> I love you. You know I do. <laughs> He goes, fuck, man. Because I would always tap him like once or twice. And he's like, oh, man, thanks for giving me your best. I go, that was an eight. A 10 would be me fucking hammering you down yeah. and like just putting you to sleep. I can never give you. Could you ever give someone 100% mm. in anything unless they're staring across the yeah, cage? Yeah, right, yeah. Or, you know, I can never give you. I can yeah. give you what I can give you. Right. But like somebody, when you have a white belt that has no idea and they're like, they wrestled, and especially because you're Frank Yeager, a lot of them are coming after you pretty hard. Mm. That, see, that, well, to, yeah. as, a, as a coach, and I, that's I, tough. I want your perspective on this because I would think you want somebody that's starting out to be kind of. You know, obviously they're inexperienced, so the the risk is hurting you, or because they don't know what they're doing. But you don't want somebody coming in just kind of like, oh, okay, I'll half ass it. You want somebody that's like fired up and like, don't you sort of want to encourage that too? But you 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 know they're white belt, so they don't know what they're doing. So there's got to be a fine line there. Like keep that keep that excitement, but just show up every fucking day and get better. So you know? that would actually insult someone. Yeah. So like, believe it or not, like like. There, like when you do jujitsu, there's so many people. They're so sensitive. Mm. So I always tell people, like, if you if you're hurt or this or that, or I try to stick to the the group of people. You'll you'll know the group of people. Like we could roll and have the best rolls ever, and you'll be like, Kurt. That was great. Every Friday, make sure you're at my house. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck, okay, I want to be sore every Friday. Mm. But you know those people. Whenever they're in my gym, like you, 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 and then you have people like, hey, you want to roll? I'm like, nah, I'm not ready for you, man. You're too you're too strong. Mm. Because to me, that's just easier. And then when I'm feeling really good, I'll go roll with them and just kind of dominate them. Mm. Like I don't I, ask you again. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't let, you can't give those people, you can't give them an inch. Because mm. if you give them the inch, they're going to fucking, mm. they're going to come after you. Like when I was training, but I would never, if I could catch a black belt, I would never tap them. Right. To me, that was, to me, that was like disrespectful. Just, I just wouldn't do it. Until, unless you knew them and you're your training partners for, yeah, like yeah. I would never walk. Gear. Yeah. Would you ever walk into another? Like I couldn't go into Frankie's gym, and there was four black belts I've never met. I wouldn't tap them. Mm. I've seen videos where black belts will put on white belts and go into a gym. You know, and they'll sneak a camera guy in there. Oh my god! They'll go, and they'll just start smoking. Have, and, and all these black belts are like, "This guy's, this guy's <laughs> good. This guy's really it's good." Funny, well, how but was he a white belt? You know? I had a. I was in a Vermont with my um my wife, and we were, I, they wanted to go to their her their daughters did jujitsu. So I walked in there. Yeah, I'm Kurt Pellegrino. Let's fucking go to this thing, bro. These fucking people from Vermont had fu they first of all they had no idea what they were doing, and then when I was in there, don't fucking pick on my hillbilly folk up there. <laughs> they were doing a good peers. job. They were doing yeah. a good job. So I'm like, hey, I would love to come in here and and roll maybe on Sunday. Uh, you know, if you guys have an extra gi, they're like, oh, you new to the sport? I'm like, yes. <laughs> I am new. Do you have a gi that I could borrow? He's like, yes. We have an, an interme a beginner class, and then we have the the master class, which are a little higher bouts. What bout there? Go my white belt. And he's like, okay, you come to white belt. I'm like, ah, I wrestled. I'd be pretty decent. I, you know, I could hang in the master class for sure. And then the the black belt came over to me, asked me my name, and I gave him my name, read my name. Still didn't know. No, Had no fucking clue. <laughs> and my wife's like, you're not gonna go there tomorrow. I'm like, ah, fuck. Like, if I go there, I'm going to fuck them all up. Just Like, that's a point when I would tap everyone in the gym just to do it. Be like, yo, you don't even know where I am. Now I have to beat your ass. You know what I mean? But it was it was funny that, you know, they just had no clue. Yeah. It was, you know, I think I was retired for a couple of years. But I just thought that was funny. They had no clue who they were talking to. That's crazy. And I was just like, wow, these fucking idiots have no clue. So you, like, I'll murder them right you now. You guys now in your life, you're at a very cool point. And from my perspective, I'm sure from your perspective too, although I don't know how much thought you put into it, but I, I asked Frankie this, uh, I don't know, a few episodes back, you know, like like retirement has got to be tough. Where are you at? And, he, and you actually spoke on a lot. That's like the biggest question you're asked now. Like, what's next for you? And you're like, listen, you know, my son's into it now you know, uh, passing of the torch sort of. It's pretty damn cool now that your sons are both into wrestling. You're actually at meets together. They like, wrestled yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. text Frankie, our boys wrestled yeah, each other. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that, though? It's I hate pretty... it. 
I oh, was really? I texted Frank. I'm so nervous. Yeah. But I said, but I texted yeah. back. I said we did our job. I was, you we know, did our job. Yeah. My kid yeah. weighed. He he literally weighed at the Wildwood Duels. He weighed 87 pounds mm. wrestling at at 90 at 89. Mm. He was low. He wrestles 85, but he didn't want to wrestle 85. He wanted to wrestle 90 because you know we're a separate family, mm. right? It, we're, I'm divorced. He lives half the time there, so it'd just be easier. If he was just on one schedule instead of like him yeah. having it, because he would have had to watch his weight and, 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 and he didn't want to do it like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. And he did because he would have had to really watch it like we did in high school. Right. Um, so he didn't want to do that. And at the end of the year, he's like, Dad, I want to go 85. And I'm like, Bro, you're going to have a hard match. Like nowhere in the in our division, but like you're gonna have a really hard match. You're gonna go against, you know, Frankie's son. It's gonna be a hard match. At ninety, I think it's gonna be a hard match too, but I just you're gonna have a hard match. You know what I mean? And uh did I I told you, right? There was like a parent yeah. that he my son wrestled their kid or son or, or one of their friends, and as I was walking by, I was like, Oh, he's uh he was afraid because he couldn't he couldn't win at nineties ducking. He's ducking this one kid. I'm Wait, like, the parents said that was saying that. And I'm right, and I'm oh, like, yo, he's going against Tino Edgar, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's not ducking someone. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. anything, he's fucking chasing someone. Right. Like you're crazy. Right. Like, I, and I want to like fucking hit him in the yeah, face. Yeah, oh my God. But I was just like, it doesn't matter. That shit doesn't matter. And like, I was nervous because I don't want to lose a friend. No. You know what I mean? Over a fucking boys wrestling. No, I can't. Because like, win or loss. To me, no, I don't think so either. But like, I was nervous because I'm nervous for Kurt. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, he's never. It's the second year in the row yeah. in that division, and I'm like, this is gonna be a top. But you know, Kurt's like, oh, I feel bad because I like uh, like we're friends, like they see each other. Yeah, they're cool. And I'm like, nah, listen, dude, know, we grew up like that. I, yeah, I was like, I was yeah. supposed to fight his that has father. To help like, it's, yeah. we yeah. still are friends. The yeah. fact that you grew up like that, you grew up, that has to help with that. Yeah, yeah like you're not too. fighting each other. No. Like it's just yeah. a match. Right, right, and you know what? I go, you might. I go, this will be the only match you two will ever see each other anyway. Yeah. Because, right. you know, he's going to be gone. You still have two more years before you go to high school. I mean, even, school. even even another guy that's coming on, we've had on before, great respect for Matt Sarah. I mean, you there's a possibility you actually could have some of your students going up against his students when your school opens your school. I mean, like, that is so cool to me that these these legends of the UFC now are comp- having yeah. kids, maybe not their own necessarily, but possibly in your case it was your own, you know, kids that you, you, you've trained yeah, it's going up against each other. It's like the total passing. It's like, you know, what do they but call yeah, that? That's what I said. Like, that's what I felt like. Circle said, of life, right? So we did our job, man. Like, our yeah. kids are at, you know, at, they're wrestling for a fucking title. Yeah. You know? It was like, neat, We did too. all right. We that did made, all right. Like, when I, thought, I saw that, yeah. I was like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Like, I, and I... And I was so glad, like, Curdy, Curdy lost. And I was like, bro, that, that experience of that match mm. for you as a young man yeah. and, and, and Tino, too, like, that was such a big moment for both of you. Sure. And you should be that. so yeah. proud of yeah. that. Absolutely. You know, and Kurt's going off and doing really well. And now he's getting ready back down to do the state qualifier to ground the 85. And, like, I just took, a, I took such a huge step back. And that's what's really helped Kurt out this year. Like, I don't get on him when he loses. I like journeyman. I wanted to like fucking just like rip mm-hmm. into him because I was so mad. And then when I stopped and just would start telling him that like, hey, I love you, even when he gets ass beat, but mm-hmm. yo, bro, I love you. Yeah, good mm-hmm. job, pal. Yeah. And it's like that's really helped him. You really know, turning I heard him a different guy. Say, they say like, uh, um, great uh, Helio Helio Gracie. When, what he would do is when his when his kids would lose, he would buy him presents when he lost. Because they didn't want to associate, like, bad stuff with them. Yeah. You didn't want them to, like, get a bad taste in their mouth because they tried something. You know what I mean? You know, it's just a, it's an old saying. Like, my dad, I'd lose, and my dad like, you fucking, you didn't do this right. If you should have went running at 3 a.m. And blah, blah, blah. So when Kurt would lose, I would do the same thing. Just not that it was, like, bred into me because my dad wasn't an, an asshole like that. Just sometimes dad's over at because we were competitors and we get everything out of it. We get the stress of it. We get, we get the wins, the highs, the lows. But we don't get the we don't get the aggression. So when they come off the mat and they fucking suck, like sometimes you let them have it, right? Sometimes you have those moments as a dad. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm like eating because I'm depressed about some of the shit I would do, or I'm eating because he didn't wrestle hard enough. I'm, I'm eating because, like I just started like I'm like, you know what? I'm done. So that whole tournament. That we've been like, even when when he lost to uh, Tina, I was like, "Hey man, I love you. Hey, we're gonna have a good weekend." And uh, and 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 Wildwood, and he's like, "You didn't even mean that." And I'm like, 
I love you, Buck. Yeah. And it, the best thing yeah, do, it yeah. fucked yeah. him up it so bad. Fucked, yeah. And then Wildwood, he lost to like a 15-year-old the first yeah. match. And the second match was the 15-year Tulsa National Champion. And every match, I was like, hey, I love you, pal. Yeah. And we're going to get the next match. He's like, you know what, Dad? Fuck you if you mean that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. don't curse because that's not you. I'm just letting you know. We can go two and we can go two and two today, yeah. or we can go, you know, oh and fucking four. Yeah, Sla- you know, we can we can rebound. It's not a big mm-hmm. deal. And then he ha- he went seven and three. That's yeah. awesome. That's great. And he was just like, oh, he did. It's really weird. If you you know, I'm like, hey, I can't compare That's the way, though, man. in that sense because you guys are athletes, you're studs. You have kids that are stud athletes, but in the in the respect, just the way you said, you know, yelling at your kid, like. Like my my son loves going quad riding. Like he loves it. My daughter will go most of the time too. But my son does dumb shit a lot because he's just <laughs> fucking hey, got boy. a big set of nuts on him, and he'll fucking just jump off something he doesn't even look on the other side of whatever. Jesus Christ! So I used to, or he'll drive across, you know, ice this thick and fucking sink his quad out of sight. And then I'm there <laughs> for the next fucking half hour digging out. I used to yell and be like, "Dude, what are you doing?" And then one day I just was out there, and he did a bunch of dumb shit after another, and I was just like. He's just being a little boy. That's, That's all it. He's doing. Yeah. And then, since then, since I had that, like that, how old is Tiffany? he? Seven. He's seven. And he loves it. And he would always look at me like, I know, I'm sorry. And I was like, What the fuck are you doing, yelling Bro. at this kid for being a fucking kid, dude? Stop uh, yelling at him. So now he gets buried. And I'm like, All right, bud, I'll be right there. I'll fucking up to here in mud and shit, digging him yeah. out. And I'm like, That's pretty much since then. Having yelled at him once because t- he's just just being a kid, a little boy. That's and all he's doing. Dude. I yell at my fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm guilty as charged. Yeah. I'm in my house. I'm a fucking. I'm fuck, sure I I'm, will again. I'm running that shit in my house. Yeah. You step by the line, I fucking stand up. They're like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. But in the sports related, mm. when we were leaving, when we were leaving the show, this dad was. F- I mean, in public, he no. was t- he was tuning you, motherfucker. Mm. You. Re- and I go, hey, Kurt. And I was never terrible. But, like, I would yell at them, you know, at times. And I'd have, like, they'd have a proud moment. And then I would call her. I'm like, I love you, brother. I'm a fucking jerk. I'm a loser. Don't worry about it. And then I saw the dad doing that. And I looked at Curdy. I'm like, hey, you want me to do that again? <laughs> and he's like, what a douche. I'm like, yeah. what an asshole. <laughs> but that he, is such a fine yeah. line to walk, though, right? That's got to be a fine line in... In an elite sport, or you got, like you got to be line. somewhat tough on your kid. A little yeah. bit. Oh no, you don't want. You don't want but like, my thing is this: like, well, my kid, I'm like, as long as you go out there and you fucking, that's how I am. Your wholehearted best effort. attempt at best effort. I'll never be mad. No, but that's, no, but there's sometimes when you see, yeah, mm, you didn't give your best effort, and, that's, and it's not like it's not like that they didn't try hard enough, but you didn't keep your head hard enough. Yeah, like I tell my kid like that, like wanting to win is the biggest thing, but like you know when you make mistakes over and over, it's almost like you don't want to win, dude. You know what so, I'm saying? Because you got to keep your head about it too, and that's the hard part for them to understand. Like when he would he go and I'm like, yo, you shouldn't go 93 at you know at this tournament. You're an eighty. You're an eighty pounder. You know what I mean? Like maybe go to eighty five. They don't listen. He loses. Gets his ass kicked. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I fucking told you this was gonna happen. You don't want to listen to me. You know better. And then here you go wrestling the kids that's, that aren't that aren't fucking good, and they're beating you because they're fifth. They're seven pounds heavier than you. Right. So you gotta listen to me. And that, that's the kind of shit I like. Let him feel it because he needs to feel that shit sometimes. But then it became such a thing to where I'm just like, you know what? Like at Tulsa Nationals or Super 32, and he did really well. Every time he lost, I was like, hey, buddy, I love you. Mm. That was a hell of a match. And I was like, I didn't think maybe that positive energy of when he was losing would help him. And that was the first thing he said to me after the Wildwood Duels. He's like, you know what, Dad? I could have probably lost every match because some of these kids were really good. He goes, but when you were telling me you loved me, I just that energy of not being upset at you or disappointing you yeah. made me feel so like I, w- I wanted to win. Yeah. Like, cause I wanted to win, and I was like, man, I'm so like I'm I'm new to this too. You yeah, know, like that's what I always say. Like I, I was always I being coached. I don't know what the yeah, the, right. the mix ratio factor is of both sides of that, but it's to me it's 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 a ratio there somewhere of. Always letting your kid know you love him, but also being a little critical, kind of hard, maybe yelling. Like, I just, I'm his there's manager. There's a line there. You can't be, you can't be that parent. Like, yeah, you got fucking 14th place, amazing. Let's go for ice cream. Oh no, you I'm can't gonna... do that either. You're never gonna raise a winner. <laughs> so you know? my my little one did the wall wrestling tournament. <laughs> Jimmy, my five year old, and he's great. Here to see him. It was like a little nerd. Like wears glasses. We he's he's the time. fucking yeah, goat. Awesome. This kid and 
and I thought it was going to be a beginner tournament, but it was a rapid tournament, mm -hmm. which not a smart decision. For newbie. He gets pinned, and Jimmy's such a cute kid. He gets pinned in like 10 seconds, and he's like, walks on the mat, he's like this. And normally, they would pull their hand up and let them restart him in different right. positions, and he was like, I'm like, oh, buddy, good job. Went on the mat. Oh, it's over. The kid didn't want to wrestle no more. He goes, oh. He knew he lost. And he goes, because Kurt always kicks his ass. And then his second match took my soul. My little guy took my soul. Kurt tells him to shoot. I'm like, don't, don't fucking tell him to shoot, Kurt. Because the kid's a little bit bigger. I want the kid to shoot and Jimmy cement job. You know what I mean? At that age. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a move. It's like a pancake. <laughs> yeah. Pancake him over. Grab the head underneath the arm. And yeah. little kids, it works really good. Okay. So... And uh, I wanted Jimmy just to get that win. He ended up shooting and then got <laughs> some that job and bid. And I looked at Kurt. I'm like, "Fucking idiot!" He's and Kurt was upset. His little brother. He, and I wasn't mad. I was just full <laughs> with Kurt. And poor Jimmy. <laughs> he gets back up and he's like this. <laughs> he's ready to go. And the ref was like, "No, no, we're done." He's like, "We're done." Oh, did you, wait. <laughs> did you hear about Frankie's experience? He, Fucking, he almost killed the ref. Not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, a week ago. Oh, you got to hear this story, dude. Tell dude. Frankie, tell this story. This is great. It's a wild one. Tino's wrestling. <laughs> he's up 2 0, second period. We go down. Tino's down. He's doing like kind of a quad pod. The kid uh, puts a boot in and jumps like go, trying to go spread eagle and kind of gets Tino like this. Tino's like about to kind of go over. Uh, I can't see the other kid. Tino's shoulder's like way, like maybe almost getting back points. You know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, almost, yeah. maybe almost. And the ref goes, boop, pin. I'm like, what? Oh, my I'm God. Like, what? Oh, I almost walked. You see me on the camera. I walked halfway in the mat, and I'm like, okay, I can't do that. And I, I walk <laughs> back. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And Tino's, Tino's fucking flipping out. Bah, 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 and the guy fucking grabbed. His back wasn't even close. Nowhere near, but I couldn't see the other kid, right? Nowhere near. So then the, uh, Tino's flipping out, and the guy, I see the guy yank Tino's hand. Kind of up. Like oh, that's for right fighting. Like, Don't you touch my fucking kid's hand. And the guy, the guy was like, sorry, he goes, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but he's the winner. I'm putting his hand up. I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> he's like, it was a defensive pin. I'm like, well, why didn't you say that when I'm fucking flipping out over here? You know? Oh, that's oh not the best part, though. The best, part, oh the best part is he comes over oh. to Frankie after this and goes, listen, if your kid wins, do you not want me yeah, to no, pick no, his no, arm? No, no, no. No, that I feel bad. Then I, I'm going to go up to him. I'm I'm, dude, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm my like, God. He's like, he's like, is it okay to touch your kid's arm? Do you want me touching his arm? I said, no, no, no. It was good. I was, the emotions got a hold of me. <laughs> Then he tells me, Could hey, we, you, take a, we take a picture at it. Take a picture? I'm like, yeah, we'll take a picture. That's going to be then on he, his yeah, fucking he goes, mantle. It's a good story. He's like, it's a good story. That's it's a good a, story. That's a and he tells me, like, I had DC last week. He's a bit of a whiner, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I got uh, I got kicked out of the Tulsa Nationals. Get out. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, it, You know what? Like, like it was, so he, Curdy wins a match, beats a really good kid, then he, it, and I'm like all shaking. I can't believe it. You know what I mean? And Kurt's shaking. He can't believe it. Uh, and then he wins that match. He loses again. He loses five to one. And I think that was the easiest kid in the whole bracket for him. But he was just so shot after yeah. the. That was the biggest win in his his little career. Uh, and then the the th uh, third match, he, he fucking. There's no way. So I I sent it. I gave it to referees, and I said, Hey, listen. You know, no, you don't know who my kid is. I just want you to look at this match. And I had two referees tell me I was right. I had a, a couple referees in Wildwood tell me I was right. But they called. Um, Kurt was wrestling, and, and the kid, Kurt was on on top. The kid stands up. It's a it's a zero zero match. Kid stands up. Kurt drops down to the double leg. Kid standing, never hit a knee. And Kurt's trying to pick him up. Ref hits him with locking hands. I'm like locking hands. And then Kurt lets go. He didn't know he even locked hands because mm -hmm. now he's on a single. The kid spread his legs. Right. Kurt went to a single, falls to a knee. They go out of bounds. Now they're out of bounds. Out of bounds. There's no feet in bounds. Ref blows the whistle. Kurt Post puts his hand down, gives him one point for an escape. And I'm like, and then I tell the deck. So one point escape, one point lock hands. Yeah, now it's 2 nothing. Oh. So I, 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 I get the dad. I'm like, no, no, no. And I call the ref over, and the, and the father was coach because the coach wasn't there. And I was like, you know that wasn't locking hands. 
an, an, an escape. Like you know that, right? You know wrestling. He's and he looks at the ref and he knows I'm right. And he and I and I was talking to the ref. I go, how? He's like, oh, it's it's college rules. He lost control when he let go of a leg. I go, but he lost control when he let go of the double too. Then if we're if we're talking about control, right, right. so if you're if my hands are locked around a double and I let go, that should have been one point. But then he grabbed his leg, right. and then when he went out of bounds, how is that an escape? And the, and the dad, I was like, come on, just do the right thing and tell tell this ref to take those both those points out. Oh, the ref has the ability to do that. And he and the guy goes, well, I'm just gonna Someone. go. I'm gonna go with that. the dude. It was the. Bo- horseshit call i had it on video i'm like just look and the ref's like i'm gonna keep the boys going and the dad goes i'm gonna go with what the official says i'm like ah you're a fucking bitch that's why (laughs) and then i go and i sit down now it's me and my ex-wife are there so like we're both in the chair and it was fucking great um kurt the kid lets kurt up and kurt or Kurt escapes, then Kurt almost ends up beating him, right? The kid ran. Like, the kid was running, like, roller skates. It was, I think that was the easier one of the, you know, he should have won that match, too. He would have lost the other one. Um, the next one coming out with kid was a stud. And then it's over, and Kurt, he, it's like, you see your kid break down and, yeah. like, start crying, like, physically upset, because yeah. he's like, how did I lose? What? Are, and you could see him now. And now I'm a dad. Yeah, the best, coaching yeah. part's done. Yeah, but I would yeah. do that for your kid, your yeah. kid. If I'm in that chair, I'm going to fucking fight. Mm. And now it's my kid, so now I'm really yeah, going to yeah, fucking yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I call the I'm, and the guys arguing with me. I'm like, no, you're a fucking idiot, man. You don't know anything. That you that was the worst cause I've ever seen. He's like, what well, if you don't like a gag? I'm like, oh, fuck you. I'll do what I want. That's it. You're out of here. I'm like, yeah, joke's on you, bro. That's a second loss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Melissa goes, she goes, you done fucked up. Up. And I looked back. I'm like, what did? <laughs> what are you gonna do to him? <laughs> and you think I'm gonna fight him? He'll probably beat me up. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Don't get me in trouble. You know what I mean? But it was funny. And then I went and showed it to the referees because now I want to know if I'm crazy. Right. And I was like, just tell me when the points happen. And he's like, he, they blew it up, and they're like, none of this was points. And I'm like, ah, just a young kid in a in a stressful situation made two bad fucking calls. Mm. I'm not so. saying you guys because I think you show. I mean, clearly for who you are, you show incredible restraint. You stay within the guidelines, but you you have kids that are in other sports. V's done soccer. Your Francesco does football. Are wrestling parents in general the craziest parents of so oh. far? I've seen it. I mean, there's definitely crazy parents everywhere. It's jujitsu, but. Well, I mean, it's the craziest any, parents. I, I, really, I, I, jujitsu tournaments so for kids. I get in more I, fights. Not a lot of that is televised. I, I think why it's because they're actually doing harm. They're choking your kid. Yeah, right, right. Bro, you know but I mean? they're saying like you have parents that are saying, "Put him out, break that arm, break that." I'm like, "Yo, bitch, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. fucking ten. Yeah, yeah, Shut yeah. your fucking mouth." Yeah. Like it's crazy yeah, how yeah, bad. Yeah. And and wrestling parents, they're. They're emotional. These parents think their kids are the next Frankie Edgar. Mm-hmm. Like, shut the... F- Dude, chill out. Mm-hmm. That's a 10-year-old, man. Right, right. Like, they're crazy. Like, my daughter is Millie. She's the sweetest. Little- She's fucking batshit crazy, and I love her when she hears <laughs> this. You were batshit crazy when you were a kid. She was getting slaughtered like 50 nothing in a novice division. Like, it was terrible. This little girl was fucking fired up. And this dad was like, hold her hands down. Hold her hands down. Hold her hands down. Don't let her go. Hold her head. Squeeze her head. I'm like, yo, dude, it's already 10 nothing. Chill out. Yeah. And, like, you're supposed to let the kids up. It's novice. They're teaching right. them. Right. And, like, he, the guy didn't know who I was. He had no clue. And then, like, I, I was like, all right, ref. I mean, she's not getting up. Stand, it's, they can't submit anyone. Stand them up. Like, the ref was an idiot, too. This woman, she was an idiot. And... Um, they're not, and this is not how. If my kid was doing this, I'd tell my kid to go to roll over. Let them try to pass your guard, because mm, I yeah. want the kids to learn. I don't well, give yeah. a shit. Right. So this dad, and then she, all right, take it down. Go, 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 go. Grab the leg. Grab, finish, finish, finish. And he's screaming, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking punch this dude. <laughs> and then she gets on, pass her guard. That's it. Push the leg down. And he's screaming, and Millie's like looking over, like imagine your daughter looking mm. at you, like uh, getting scared. Yeah. And he, and that's my, not my boy. I don't care, but like my daughter. Right. We're gonna right. fucking go. Right. And he's like, mama. And Millie's like trying to push her and shrimping out. And he, she, grab her hands, put them above her head. Now hold her. That's it, baby. You got this. You're gonna win. Hold, don't put that hand back down. Keep that mouth. Keep that mouth. And I go, yo, this dude, dude. This dude's probably like a plumber. Yeah. Yeah, just a heavy set dude yeah. just sitting next to me, like two fat guys sitting next to me. And I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. 
and the table workers like, hey, excuse me. I go, yo, man. You shut the fuck up, too. You shut the fuck up, too. I'm not going to listen to this fucking dude. You're scaring my kid, bitch, and I'm not going to stand for that. Shut your fucking mouth. You're literally winning 50-something to nothing. Yeah. Shut up. Here you talk again. And, and I didn't know at the time, but it was the ex-wife was next on. <laughs> and uh, the the ref came over, and she's like, excuse me, sir, you can't talk like that. I go, listen, I, I'm gonna, I don't want to curse at you, but you're a fucking worst ref I've ever seen. To let these little girls go like this and have my daughter get smacked like this like I don't care but you should put my daughter in a winning position yeah. so she could feel what it's like you're not doing she's not gonna hold it this girl's yeah. well well more aggressive like you're the worst she's like I'm gonna get you kicked out of here I go listen I'll get you kicked out of this fucking tournament well before I am okay just so you know you have no idea who you're fucking with right now or who you're even talking to Rep, fin- you know what the match is over and I and I get Mil- Millie and I, I bring her over and my wife's like Please stop. And the guy's like, yo, I don't really appreciate you. I go, how about me and you go out on the fucking boardwalk right now? Go to the beach. You go there. I go there. I meet you there. I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Mutual combat. And I was like, and I go, and you will fucking remember who I, who my name is. Three months later, this dude calls my house, calls my cell phone, got my cell phone somehow. (laughs) And I'm like, Kurt Pellegrino. And he's like, is this Kurt Pellegrino? I'm like, yeah. Our daughters did uh, did a match in jujitsu. I'm like, you actually, I'm like, do you actually answer the phone, Kurt Pellegrino? I do the gym line. Oh, okay. Called the gym line. Gotcha. So I'm like, Kurt Pellegrino, <laughs> and uh, I'm like, KP, and uh, he's like, uh, and I was like, oh, I don't remember because I'm punchy as shit. He's like, you remember you told me you'll remember my name? I go, oh shit, sorry. I go, I actually been thinking about you, man. I was just trying to figure out what school you went to. I was gonna call your coach and. I apologize how I talk to you, just my little one. I want her to like jujitsu and not be scared of it. And the, what you were doing was scaring her, and yeah. it, and and I overreacted. And it, I think it's really hard for people to. I mean, I was right, but like for me to apologize, people are pussies; they can't do that. Mm. So I'm like, I want to apologize if I said anything out of line. Um, but like you were scaring me, and my daughter is being scared. And you know, I would do the same thing. If I was doing that and our daughters were going against each other and I'm screaming for my daughter, you'd be like, yo, Kurt, shut the fuck up. Because at at that point, you're it's not about me. It's uh, those little ones are going. And he's like, you're so right. And and I'm so sorry. And he's like, but I got to tell you, I want to call you because like I want to come down. I want my daughter to hang out with your kid. I want to, you know, take you to the boardwalk or something. I go, you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But you're always welcome to my gym. Just don't have your daughter kill my kid, you know. Uh, And he's like, but uh, I wanted to tell you. Because I think about you all the time. Whenever me and my ex-wife get into an argument, she's like, she, brings you up. she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's like, don't, don't, am I fucking fighting with you? He's like, ah, and they're fighting. She's like, you'll remember my name when this is done. He's like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> so whenever they're arguing, she's like, yeah, you can remember my name when this That's is done. Great. And she's like, yeah, she calls me like a pussy every day. I'm like, well, you really would have remembered me for the rest yeah. of your life. So <laughs> that's, that's a good that thing. Dude that I DM, I'm going to use that line. You're going to remember my name when this is. I'm using that line. You remember me when you're. I go. You're going to remember me for the rest of your life. You step outside. Is what I told them. Oh yeah. Uh, dude, little, she was just getting. Guy I've ever been with. And she was just getting smashed. I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> a cute little thing. Yeah. I don't know. That was like one of my like not proud moments. But like, and then We're I ran all into have the. Those parents. We're all gonna have them. But all. dude, I couldn't help it. My kids being yeah, my, yeah, yeah. when my daughter who was smiling, having a great time while she was getting hammered, and then looks over at me and she's like physically pinned down and she yeah. looks over like help, mm, yeah. and she, you know what I mean? Like I talked her into doing it, right, yeah, right. and I'm like, fuck, I I put that pain on her, yeah. you know what I mean? And then uh, her next match, she went against another girl and she kind of tuned her up good, but I kept telling my daughter, go to your back, go to your back, yeah, right. oh, let her go there, and she's like, okay, like she was just so happy that the other girl do something, and that dad was like. I never seen coaching like that before. Frankie and I just had this conversation because V, his, his youngest, is starting to get into wrestling now, and she's sometimes there isn't enough girls, so she has to wrestle boys. And I was like, "How do you feel about that?" And I thought his answer was pretty good. Um, you know, obviously, if there's nobody there and the competition is there, and you know, like it's at that level, I think is how you answer. If I remember at that age, it's okay. How I do, think. You how, know? Do you, how do you feel about that? And, and once and, you get a little and, older, some tough. Well, I'll say jujitsu because that's more. You know, well, I feel well, like your son does wrestling too, but. Your daughter, you were just talking about your daughter doing jujitsu. Do you think that is, uh, uh, I don't want to say acceptable. How do I phrase it? Do you do you frown upon that at all? Girls going against boys. So how are in we combat sports? So, in, in wrestling at at 
at your daughter's age, I think the boy, the girls are better. Yeah, he was saying that. They're yep. stronger, yep. more mature. Right. And when they really know what they're doing, the, the boys don't have a chance. Yeah. Unless the boy is very aggressive. Mm -hmm. If the boy ain't aggressive the, the, and the girl is, nine times out of ten that girl's winning. Yeah. I wouldn't care. Like when, when our girls go to high school, there's going to probably be a full team in every, mm -hmm. in, in every, mm -hmm. every school. And the girls' wrestling is blowing up so bad. The only time I get mad if my daughter wrestled a boy is if the coach was telling their, their kid to lay it on a little thicker, mm. which you could tell if that's happening. Mm. You know, you could hear by the coaching if they're laying it on a little bit thicker. Mm. You know what I mean? That'd be the only time I'd probably have a fucking, Industry, yeah. you know, then I would have a hard time with that shit. Yep. I don't mind if Millie, like I look at it like if you put a single on in headgear, there's no sex on mm. that mat. There's just two wrestlers. Yeah. yeah. I wrestled with like Vicky Zuma. Remember well, Vicky Zuma? I've heard Zuma? that before. Yeah, I've heard that. And I wrestled with her, and I didn't respect her at at all. Like you're on that mat, you lace those shoes. Yeah. We're around yeah. the same weight. I'm gonna give it to you, and you had to, or she would fucking yeah, she'd give it to you. She'd give it to you, and I'm, yeah. you know, and I just I wrestled them. If I same thing, I would do if I wrestled with you and you weren't good. I'm not gonna kill you in the room. Mm -hmm. So. If I wrestled someone that I was way better than, I had a routine in my matches. I'd take you down, you know, three to four times in the first or second period. And then when I was done with my takedowns and I felt like I had a sweat, I'd pin you. That's how I wrestled in high school. Mm. People didn't like it. I didn't give a shit. And if I wanted six takedowns, that's what I tell Kurt. I go, you need six to four takedowns in a, in a match. If you can't score those against the kids, then then it's a good match, mm. right? Mm. So if, if I could if I could take Frankie down, if I'm wrestling on Frankie and I take him down, I'm gonna let him up. If I take him down, I'm like, okay, he's one of those guys. Why? I'm gonna Is score four takedowns. And I'm gonna pin him. to your opponent, or are you just talking about the point system? I'm or? just trying to wrestle. Yeah. So if I wrestled with if Frankie wrestled me, pick up pin me, boop. Psh, what did he get out of that? Twenty yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I'm going to give you an opportunity to take me down too. If I let you up, I'm giving you an opportunity. Right. And that's what I was good at in school, in, in high school. Like I took you down like a hundred times. That's how I wrestled. If people thought of me being a dick, I'm like, I, it, why? I need to wrestle into the third period once. And if I'm going against weaker schools and the kids aren't as good as me, you know, I took second in the state twice. There wasn't, I didn't have many crazy matches right mm -hmm. until the show until like mm -hmm. districts regions and all that shit then you'd have those matches um so i i just think i always tell kurt you owe me four takedowns every match yeah. mm -hmm. if the, and if the kid and if i see the kid is fucking helpless you know then try to work on riding them and sc and, and scoring tilts mm -hmm. for points mm -hmm. you know try to work on something i don't want you to go out there shoot pin the kid, kid yeah. that to me that's more demoralizing to me like, what did you get out of that? You just pinned the fish, bro. Great mm -hmm. job. Like, did you work the new move we've been working out on top? Did right. you did you try going down? Because that's like every kid's fear is like picking bottom yeah. and, and escaping. You know, how many points did we score on top? So, like, I'll, I usually give him like a mission, especially for middle school. I'll give him like a job. Like, I need, set, you know, six points. I need two tilts of threes. Mm -hmm. So, if you get a tilt and you get only get two... Nah, buddy, you got to get me three three tilts. So I need three points twice, or you have to keep going till you can get that. And then that's kind of how I kind of got him to do better. Yeah, if Tino's like wrestling a kid that's, you know, maybe not as good, I'll be like, lefty lead, only lefty shots. Right. You know, just yeah. challenge yourself a little bit. Yeah, you're working. And yeah. that could go the other way, too. Like, he could get scored on by yeah. that, right. and then you're like, all right, change it back, change it back. You're like, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. It'll be funny. He'll shoot lefty lead, but he'll end up putting his head righty and then finishing righty. I'm like, that, that don't count, bro. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I, so that's the thing, too. I was a lefty lead my whole life. I wrestled with my left leg forward. So that helps so, for fighting. So it definitely helped me with for fighting, mm. but that's why I think my left hip and my knee are shot. Mm. Because when I would drill in practice, no Makes one, sense. nobody knew how to drill with me, right? My my my, my uh, training partner in college was lefty, so I was lefty high crotch. I get to fan great because I am so used yeah. To it. So you're so used to it, but yeah. you it's like fighting a southpaw. You're never right. used to fighting a southpaw, right. and then you get three in a row. You're like shit, mm. you know. So I was always like, some of the guys would be like, "Can you switch back?" So when they would drill, I would switch. So then I could literally wrestle with both legs forward. So, yeah. so if you're fighting a traditional stance fighter and you're a lefty, why does that? Why is that advantageous? Because you're, you're circling. No, it's advantageous because this. Because he's lefty. He fights nothing but righties. Mm -hmm. 
the righty never fights lefties. Gotcha, because lefties are you know what I mean? Less, less yeah, strong. not never, but not you know, typically. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't a lefty. I I'm a right-handed guy, but everything but I did was goofy. Yeah. I was goofy foot yeah. everything yeah. I did because yeah. I had like a learning right ability. Lately. Right, lately. Oh, no, left no le- I'm a left oh, okay, leg. Yeah, no, no. So like, he's not a lefty. He's a he's a righty. I'm r- but when I but it's wrestled, lefty in, wrestling. It's but, considered right. lefty wrestling. Yeah. Is it? Well, because you're left leg lead. Yeah, you're lefty. You're, yeah, you're I'm shot a lefty. Your left yes, hand. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was I was the back even in jujitsu. Like I don't pass to the side, Frankie. I go what to the pass, opposite. What, pass, what side you pass to? I pass to the right. My left leg's in your half guard. I like that. Uh, I pass to the left. But, well, okay, what is your what is? Because everyone said, what side is your strong side on bottom? I lay on my right hip. You lay on your right hip. See, I, 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 I like. I'm, I'm the opposite. opposite. I'm opposite. Yeah. I'm the opposite. Yeah. You're correct. No, I think I'm different. Most people. No, how I teach, everyone's no, like. Every everyone says this is the this is the weak side, right? If you're gonna pass to my that, side, that's the side I pass to. Yeah, this is the side I like. I, I feel better this side. Yeah, okay. see, that's my favorite side. Yeah, that's the only side I pass no, to. I'm saying on bottom. On bottom. I'd rather you pass this side than this side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but everyone wants to go that way. I know. Yeah, so I lay on my right hip. Yeah. You're the happiest when people take your back, Frankie. Let's be honest with you. <laughs> Roger, you can to. never take I anybody's to. back. Yeah, Roger. Roger can never take anybody's back. <laughs> Silly Not long Roger. enough. Not long enough. Uh-uh. He's like a French bulldog. <laughs> How so? Because French... They, they can't fuck. They have to like be, be like put together to fuck. Yeah, they can't. The French bulldog's not long enough to... They're, they're t- it. It's not long enough to make it in. <laughs> you never do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm, I'm, st- they're, 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 <laughs> I'm stealing that line, too. They're fucking... They're, they're as soon man- as that guy... <laughs> As soon as that guy yeah, texts me funny. back, because they're fucking man-made, so they they right, hang on. I'm gonna add to that text to that dude, you French bulldog motherfucker. <laughs> he won't even. He'll think you're talking about his face. Yeah, and yeah. we're not. Oh, Your dick shit. can't reach her. Shit. <laughs> they have to jerk you off to put it in them. Uh, oh, it's fucking. Uh, it's so fun. Sw- switch gears for a minute. Talk about something else. Um, maybe maybe you can pull this up. Uh, so one of my peeves. I don't I don't know how you guys feel about this. I think I know how Frankie feels about it, but. You ever see these uh, these millionaires? These these uh, what do they call them? Uh, they they do the the, the the TED talks or the uh, you know people pay to go see. Them. What am I trying to say? What are, influencers, not influencers, but people you know people pay to go see their seminars and they're like really wealthy, successful people and they tell it. They just basically get on a mic and yell. They're just like, oh, you can fucking do it. The you know what I mean? Like, like guys, motivation, help, help motivational. Person? Yeah, motivational okay. speaker guys that that are that found success. Business guys, right? Like Ro- dro- like uh, Tony Robbins. Yeah, yeah. Eric I Thompson. Mm. Well, there's a lot of guys out there now. Like everybody, uh, I, and I'm not ripping on him personally, but I'm just saying Wes Watson would be one. We've had okay. Wes on the show, but that would be one. I just saw some dude rip on him, by the way. But I we had a good experience with Wes, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw Wes into that fucking. Uh, Loop, but there's a lot of dudes out there. There's this dude that, that he's just he's just a nobody. He's just a regular fucking dude that's in his garage, and he does these collabs with these guys and just rips on them. And it makes he does these breakdowns of what they're saying, and he like you know he'll then it'll, it'll cut to him. Pull this guy out and play a couple of his clips because I I have reposted this guy a couple times. I think his name is uh, Shane Highside on TikTok. And just watch a couple of his videos where he breaks down what they're saying, and it, and and the way he break, they make no sense at all. It's like fucking what they're, they're talking straight gibberish. But when you hear them, like if I hadn't heard him, I'd be like, dude, this guy knows what he's talking about. He's selling it really well. He's yelling at me while he's saying it, but it makes no sense. Chain high side, pull him up on TikTok. A TikToker. Yeah, wanna, that's it. That's I, him right there. Yeah. I want to be a motivational speaker. Uh, any one of those, like second line down, any one of those, that one with 115K, uh, second one in from the bottom. 1.3 million, that's good. Oh, uh, yeah, any of those. God, I wonder what I should do if I'm down to like my Dude, last thousand bucks. Hey, what would I do if I was down to my last thousand dollars? This is what I would do. First, I would set a target. Okay, how do I make this 10 times that money? Okay, okay, grow it 10X, I like this. <clears throat> this is good. This is good. Thousand. I wouldn't look at this thousand because I want to grow the thousand. I'm not going to try to save it. I'm not going to try to keep it. I'm going to try to use. Okay, you wouldn't focus on that thousand, but that's all you have. So, okay. So the first thing to do is to set a target. <laughs> Second thing is to find out who can assist me in the target. It's not what I need to do, not where I. Set a target, <clears throat> and then find someone who can help you. Okay. 
free. How do I make contact with that who to get them to trade $1,000 for $10,000, at which point I'll figure out what I need to do. They'll tell me exactly uh. what it is. Oh, this is really good advice. Why didn't I think of this? Set a target, find somebody who can help you get to that target, and then this magical person will get you in contact with another person that wants to magically Go trade you something to 10x your I just your love money. what he does to these guys because these guys are so brilliant. egotistical. Kind of funny. <laughs> kind of. <That'll> work. <laughs> Ugh, how do we get more productivity out of my day? It's just not long enough. My day is 6 a.m. to noon, and I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Dude, you can break days down into more days? <laughs> cool. We're crazy for thinking it takes 24 hours, just like some dude in a cave did 300 years ago. Yeah, men in caves 300 years ago? Well, let that slide. This guy's he pretty loves smart. This guy. My second day starts at noon and goes till 6 p.m. That's day two. And then the next day is 6 p.m. to midnight. What I've done now is I have changed and manipulated time. I now get 21 days a week. Stack that up over a month, I'm going to kick your butt. Mm. Stack it up over a year, you're toast. Stack it up over five years, my entire life is different. Than huh. We're over here manipulating oh. roger do you watch that while you're taking a shit like sitting down and you're like oh man this guy's the best it's fucking hysterical bro i think because because come on you tell me that those type of dudes those fucking self-help dudes don't pop up on your thing and you're watching that shit like no this guy really pops no. up on my shit all the time i actually have a couple Roger's friends that do it self-help i actually <laughs> have a couple buddies that do this shit and i'm like really oh, you are so full of fucking shit <laughs> this is the first time we've seen something like that really Frankie, you? What? No, self-help guys, yeah. We Not self-help. Those guys aren't self-help. Oh, guys make fun are motivational of them. speakers that charge you a thousand bucks to go uh, to their seminar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those guys annoy me so fucking bad. They're no, for, yeah. They're this, this is a good one. Can't wait for some more financial advice. Yeah! <laughs> okay, you make 80000 a year and you save twenty. Hooray, you save $20,000 a year. <laughs> right, Why true. not just spend that effort and go make five hundred or a million in a year? Right. Fucking, what? So, yeah, no, I, the little bit of time it took me to just put money into a savings account, I could have just, could have just made. Yeah, anyway, I think, I, I just love what he does, because I think it's, like, well past time somebody ripped on these fucking guys. Because who could do half the shit these people say? Mm. Who could do it? Uh, got a million dollars? Want to turn it into a hundred million? Well, like, who's that? All you Gary gotta do. Vee? <laughs> Sell all your CDs, bro. You don't need CDs no yeah, more. Gary V. Yeah, <laughs> another guy. You know Gary V. No. Tanner Chuck. You ever heard of him? Yeah, oh. May Space. Yeah. Well, okay. If you are, are, let's say a Gary V. And I, and and I used to watch his videos, right? Because everybody wants to be richer. Everybody wants to be more successful, right? If you're if you're on that level of success, where independently you found a way to make wealth or whatever. Why does your main focus seem to be giving seminars and speeches where you're charging people five grand to come, or not five grand, a grand to come? Like, that's all they can do. I think that's how Gary Vee makes his money. I think he just charges people to come watch him speak. Jeez, you know what I mean? I could, I could make so much money. Bro, if you just literally just, comes just in sold it right, like, right? If you just look at people and yell at them and fucking, you know, like tell them what they're doing wrong and how they can do it right and you say it with authority. We, Frankie and I have talked about I do it to you all the time. You don't pay me shit. That is true and I don't listen either. <laughs> but like people will join your cult. People will believe Jeez, you. I got to start will. something. Yeah, for sure. You, you know should. what I want to start doing? What I really want to do so bad? I want to catfish someone. Catfish. So bad. Explain. You don't know what catfish? I know what catfish is, but he wants okay, to. Okay, okay. He wants to be a handsome man and show up as as uh, just uh, how, how fucking funny would that be? Just for like seventeen years, just talking to the same person. Seventeen years? They do it for like ten years. Yeah. Do you hear? I'm like, yo, you're that talk- football player that almost got the Heisman. What was his name? He was the one of the most famous um, cases, dude. No, the the basketball player, Birdman. Uh, he played for like the Nuggets. Really? Oh, the, he, the white dude, the white dude, the white guy. Yeah, he got he got, got catfish and almost went to fucking jail. Who was the football player that was up for the Heisman? Um, he was. A, he was actually not, at the same yeah, time as guy. Johnny Football. He was, he was like up a Hawaiian in, dude. Yeah. What? Man, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. He got like the ultimate catfish. Bro, could you imagine that? And then you come out I'm like, just kidding. Yeah. 
And they're like, yo, it's not cool. I'm like, I know. Yeah. But I saw your show and I just think it would be fucking sweet to get on it. And now I'm on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Could you imagine that? And like, and if you did fall for it, I'm like, you're a sucker, man. You know who had a great we, idea? My fu- we, we talked about it a couple times, but had a great idea for a TV show. Eddie Alvarez. Yeah, well, I forgot what he called it. Something like. I had a great name, too. Some troll, right? Um, troll Patrol? Troll Patrol. Was that it? Where it's like, you, you so like you know, people fucking. Yeah, yeah, troll fuck us. Talk, you, like, you find them. You suck. You fucking find you them. You got a team like, of guess like. Guess what, motherfucker? That's like Bully Beatdown, yeah, which was a like great Bully show. Beatdown. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Bully Beatdown. Wow. Mm-hmm. Eddie was on Bully Beatdown. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had this invention I was going to try to put on the Shark Tank. But everyone always tells me it's not a good one. Oh, God. But in front of friends, I think it'd be hilarious. What? So it's like a little, it's like a little knife, like this big, <laughs> like just a little, like a little the stem could be as long as your hand. You know what I mean? But it's a little, like a nail. You know what I mean? And like I call it the gut check. So like we're all hanging out, and you said something like you made fun of me or something. <laughs> you don't even need a stitch. You could gut check. Don't fuck with me. Can't I hurt. Think that could be legal. No, <laughs> I've, I know I've been talking yeah. about it so much, but like, gut check's never gonna make you stab, it. You stab Roger, then you stab another guy, and then you just gave that uh, guy yeah, Roger's yeah. AIDS. <laughs> yeah, I'd that's clean bad. it. That's I'd probably bad. clean it. Stirrup warmers. But wouldn't that be so gay. fun? The gut Stirrup check. Stirrup warmers. That's a fucking. You, you know how chicks have to go once a year for a pap smear. No, he's like, I gotta put my legs in the cold fucking stirrups. Stirrup <laughs> warmers. Million. Probably a wow. ten million dollar idea right there. Hey, Take listen. On. We could go. We Anybody want to be an investor? Yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> My idea, you heard it here first. <laughs> stirrup warmers. Gut and, check. And gut check. Gut check. Gut check. I had to put like my that. legs in those those stirrups before. What, you had the prostate check? No. The colonoscopy? No, I've had that done too. That, I love that one. I, I call, that, I call it a day of beauty. Now. Day of be beauty. 50. Now they say you're supposed so to have So you've had a colonoscopy? Yeah. I have Crohn's disease. Oh, uh, God. So, like, they have to, like, I had, like, a problem. Well, it wasn't even, like, you're shitting your pants. Like, I could be in here and be, like, happy, have a sip of water, but, oh, my stomach. And, like, I don't know if I have to go to the bathroom or it's just a major pain in my stomach. Nine times out of ten, it's nothing. Mm. To where, like, something's going on in my in my guts. But, but you're scared to fart. No, I fart all the time. I love farting. Oh, yeah. It's the greatest <laughs> gift ever. We do in my house. It's on TikTok. They're like, if I had to fart, like even my little ones, my daughter's like, dad, 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 dad. Guess my fart. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I see dude, that now. My I whole house. Ha- it's the funniest you gotta thing. Guess the sound of somebody's fart. Dude, they like, run right, right, right. Guess my fart. Guess my fart. She'll be like, <laughs> and then if you do that, you start cheering. Yeah, yeah. It makes farts hilarious. That's great. Like I'll be in the shower by myself. And fart, and I'll laugh. <laughs> I'll be in the, my cold plunge. It'll be bubbly. <laughs> yeah, and I'll fart at the cold plunge. I'm like, I bet that was so funny. And I'm the only one. And my wife's like, you are a fucking child. Like, I'll walk down the hallway. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, and I'm laughing because, to me, that's the funniest oh, thing oh, ever. Yeah. Millie was Farting in school. Was great. Millie was in school just recently. And she's like, I don't know what happened, but I, I, I farted. And she's in first grade. I go, oh, God. Was it? Are you okay? She's like, everyone started laughing. And I was like, then I farted again. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, that's my girl. Yeah. I go, no, don't, don't, don't do that shit again. She's like, everybody thought it was so funny that I farted. And I was like, oh my God. It's not as funny as Roger's guy on fucking TikTok. Dude, I, but it's funny. Listen, <laughs> I think that guy's fucking hysterical. You don't have to think so. No, listen, you love him. You're good. <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I don't love him. I love what he does. I love that he rips on these fucking idiots. Has he ripped on you yet? That make no, I, bro, I, I can't give any financial advice. Who am I? Oh, it's great. I'm going to do one of those. I got a, there's a TikTok. You see the, the TikToks with a, it's like Mike Tyson, Manny Pacquiao. It could be like Frankie fighting, and it's that like, um, it's that one like song that keeps playing for them. And I'm like, oh my god, I have the greatest idea, and I can't wait to do it <laughs> because like, one, I'm nowhere near any of those legends. You know what I mean? Mm. But like, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm working out, and like have that song on, like trying to jump rope, be like. <laughs> Where these guys are like wrestling, throwing people. I'm like eating a donut. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy what goes viral, man. It, it's the most random shit. But you know the uh, I was telling you, you had no idea what I was talking about. But she's pretty big on TikTok. Uh, the the crazy um, uh, tunnel lady that's building the tunnel. Mm-hmm. She got shut down. Finally, that, yeah. the town she's building down. a tunnel. 
Dude, this lady, right? She's she. First of all, she's a very unique woman. She's I'm sure. from Virginia, but she dresses like she's from the 1970s. And she's has she's a I think she's a computer or software engineer. She has no like degree in building or engineering in that way, but she's constructing a tunnel in her basement. It never really throughout all these videos tells you why she's doing it, but she just starts just digging. No, jackhammering into a wall, huh. and now yeah. she's 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 like a half Bring a mile concrete like down concrete shit, like trucks. Concrete she's like walls. a fucking half a mile down, not down, but sideways and down. I think she's a total of twenty five feet down. But like half a mile sideways and finally got shot, but never tells you why. She's just like, all right, so today I'm firming up, I'm I'm welding rebar. She's down there like, oh, the welder. Just this single woman. Did dresses she, like when she, they caught her, did they ask her why? Any of it well, come out? I, the only thing I saw was she answered a phone in her car and it was, I guess, the town calling to say, we're temporarily shutting you down. And then her follow up video after that was, shouldn't take long to get permits and this will be back underway. It hasn't been underway since. I mean, She's probably fucking, what an idiot. She's probably under the fucking town lake at this point. She's knocking your door. Yeah, but anyway, she's she's, she's been in shut down. Brooklyn. Pull Andrew. Pull that. Pull that woman up. She, just uh, show Andrew. I mean, show uh, Kurt uh, a little clip. Her name is. I'm sure if you just put she in taught the Jews crazy ton, ton, ton. <laughs> Kayla the science girl. <laughs> Kayla the science girl. Yeah, any of those. That top video right there. She's just fucking digging a hole. Oh no! I thought that was a video. Pull, pull, pull up her TikTok, and you'll see like what she's doing. I think her name's Kayla. Uh, yeah, pull up. I don't know. It's in her house, dude. It's in her basement, and she just one day decided that, and but never really clarifies. I I watched pretty much every video. I never saw her say, I never saw her say, I'm doing this because I'm building a bomb shelter or just, ah, today I'm doing this and I'm welding this and I'm shoring this up and she's had a couple collapses and... Dude, could you imagine? Watch this. And her voice, the monotone. It's just been over a year since I started building my underground tunnel system. This is a one-year recap. In August of 22, I cut an opening off the side of the sub-basement and started to carve into the solid rock. Fabricated an elevator to lift material. 1,000 pounds at a time. As the entrance tunnel stretched longer and deeper, I bought an electric yard cart and converted it into a mine cart. I used hundreds of concrete blocks and yards of hand mixed concrete for the no 30 foot entrance she tunnel. Bro, wow, she, she needs a lot of cough. As it got deeper underground, I ran into a lot of groundwater and a spring which made work harder and required constant pumping. Eventually. Like, how much is this costing her? I mean, it's gotta be tens of thousands Bro, of dollars. Bro, no one's saying nothing. Her neighbors, like, all the dirt. No, the, these, these videos were her, got her shut down. That the some lady outed her, called the town, called all her neighbors. That was just a viewer of her videos. Oh, look at this! Look at what she's building, and all by herself. She never has help. It's all by herself. One of the forms failed, and the concrete bulge needed to be removed, which was affectionately called the elephant's foot. Bro, blast. what what do you do when like your neighbor's house like falls into yeah, yeah, it? Exactly, exactly. Like, and what did like when you woke up and you're like, you know what I'm gonna do? Tunnel to three towns over. Like, My, why? Like, like Smurfs. Like she's like, you going to Frankie's a lot. Like, fucking digging a hole. <laughs> <laughs> digging a hole. <laughs> We're digging a giant hole. We're just hanging out in it. We're People playing. Building bunkers, bro. Maybe she's ahead of the game. Maybe. I mean, maybe, and maybe that's what she's doing, but she doesn't actually verbalize that in any video like what what makes you like wake up and say today's day i'm gonna dig a hole in my i mean she's obviously a, a, and where are you putting all that a, that where are you put all that earth they, like they put it into a truck she, she, she like no she gets those uh 40 yard containers and, and she has two weeks to fill it so she hand she literally hand digs and the no neighbors hole. see this going on and go hey jane what are you doing in the house apparently not because it went on for like a year or two it went on 2021 20, how long start? is it 
Did you, did you did they have information on her? Because she's getting a it's thousands like of fines. It's twenty-five feet down. I don't know how far sideways it goes. A long ways. You, I mean, th- there's no way you're going to pass any building inspections. Like she's getting, that's going to cost yeah, her so much money. Sub, yeah. like, or is she loaded rich? You're, you're you not have to be on. Lo- you're not technically on somebody's property. You're digging under their property. I mean, they're going to find the loophole, but she's yeah, going to probably, sure. you know, or for her to do that, she has to have a lot of money. Right, like yeah. you're not just wasting money Finding for nothing. Your you're not working. Yeah. You're doing that every day. It's just crazy and it's intriguing. Like, why would somebody do that? Are you just a lunatic? Or yes, yeah, I would say voice? so. Yeah. Oh, I would say so. Fucking Carol Baskins did with her ex-husband. She tunneled him. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's pretty funny though. I gotta do something with my time. I have an update on the permit situation. In December, I was working in the tunnel and received a stop work order that required me to apply for permits and get an engineering assessment to ensure the house is safe. This has been heavily publicized here on TikTok, the most publicized. The engineering assessment is particularly important because I wasn't supposed to occupy the basement until it's been determined to be safe. I was fortunate to find a qualified engineer within a week to visit my tunnel and provide an assessment. The report concluded that the structure of the tunnel is sufficient to support the rock and that the rock itself is stable and showing no sign of shifting. The report was accepted. I worked with an architect to submit a set of drawings for the permit application. I am still working to respond to comments and to provide information for the city for uh, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, structural and geotechnical aspects of the project. At this time, I requested an extension and am expecting the process to continue for at least a month more. I am optimistic and kiwi does not taste too bad. What? Kiwi does not? Is that like a fucking car? She has to have money. Yeah. Because what are you doing? Like you're from. just killing your time. But wouldn't, like, listen, she's have, got she's got a whole bunch of people super intrigued, right? Because it's like, it's different. Who does she, But uh, as far as I've seen... And in just the two videos we watch, where it's an explanation of everything, it's like it all comes. Never says why she's building it. Like, where is she going? Mm. That's the crazy part. Yeah, like, what are you doing it for? And I'm sure the town's going to give her some sort of like uh, limitations on like how far you could go. Yeah, I mean, right? what, but what? It's kind of unexplored territory, I would think. Like, this probably doesn't happen a lot, so maybe there are no rules on, it, especially in a small town. She's in Virginia, probably uh-huh. like. You know, you can't east, you east can't hide what you're doing. She could just say she's coal mining. She's in Virginia. That's not. She is nuts. I'm fucking digging a hole. <laughs> I'm gonna be so Kurt famous. Start digging to uh, Australia. Yeah. That's where she's going. You think so? Down under. <laughs> she kind of freaked me out. I didn't even think she blinked once when no, she was talking. No, oh, yeah. she's an alien. I think. Mm. Yeah, she's a she's a plant for sure. <sighs> All right, boys. What else you got? You got anything? It ends with the Kurt, you signed, you signed the board last time you were in here, didn't you? If you didn't, you're signing it this time. I don't think I did. Oh, man. We, you we, had to have, bro. No? I don't think I did. Is your memory going? My, or my memory is definitely shot, but I... Sign it twice, then. Sign it twice. I mean, I'll find my signature. All right. Well, well my, if you find it. Well, my gla- if, I, if it's on there, I'll find it. Oh, yeah? It's very... It's just a fucking... Remember signing the autographs? Yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah. when I first did that, right, I would go, Kurt, Jay... Pellegrino, Batman, because like that was my nickname. Can you imagine that, dude? I, like five hundred. Fe. Yeah. F-E. N- then it went. Then I changed it. There was uh, some photos which are great that I have posters. I just did a K. K. <laughs> <laughs> just a K. Fe. Fe. Yeah. F-E. Then it was just like it's just a K, a J, and a P. And that's it. Just one scribble. It takes me one, not even a second. I was telling Francis, you better get good at that, bro, because. You're going to sit there yeah, for fucking, fucking day. it was so annoying, so I figured that shit out, and now I just, I, I bring it everywhere with me. It's my new thing. Shit. Yeah. Calling card. It's my, it's a curdy card. Well, we're going to, let's look for it. I don't think I did, though. We're going to get you, you. Do you take it off the wall when someone Always signs it? Only for short it? people and Frankie, I take it off the wall. Okay, so wall. it was never taken off the wall, <laughs> which is kind of fun. No, though. it's been taken now. No, know. no, for this guy. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. For you. you don't need, you're not short. Nope. No, I'll find it. I'll find a good spot. All right. Curdy uh, Kurt. Good times, brother.
Yeah, Guys, could, anybody looking for a great school in the Point Pleasant area to train in? Kurt Pellegrino. What is it? Per, per, Kurt Pellegrino, uh, BJJ? Yeah. yeah. Kurt Pellegrino. Go. That's man. how you answer the phone. That's right. Hey, Kurt Pellegrino. Yeah. How you doing? Curdy Kurt. KP, what's up? Or like, yo, fuck you. Imagine that. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> 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 All right. Champ of the Tramp out. Peace. See ya. Guys, just a reminder, don't forget to find and follow us on YouTube, Rumble, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms.